Alright. Oh. Last... So, did you hear what happened to the man that... <laughs> when we last left off our bold, adventuring murder ho hobos, um, you guys had solved the gang problem of the Double D gang. Who? No, 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 no. Lottering. No, no. Who solved the problem? Please tell me. I mean, technically, it was me. No, it was me. You rolled shitty. He was the one who let you do the double attacks, which kind of saved our lives. Yeah. I don't give a fuck, man. Axis almost died on several different occasions. <laughs> it was very <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> so. I'm a fucking legend, dude. Really? I, I own this game. Really, John? What you, you died twice. You went on Foxes twice already. Yeah, dude, it's my TV. <laughs> And, um, <laughs> you guys have lost somebody. Yeah. And would, would, somebody like to tell the party the name of the person who you think took Barry. it? Barry! <sighs> no. Get fucking wrecked, Al. I'm the fucking mystery. Who do I think? Is it Debbie? Um, stole Annie? Is it Debbie? No, but somebody had gotten a note. It's this cunt right here. Yeah, I got a note. I got a note, and it says, "It says, thank you for bringing me my next prey. It's from Smasher, and Annie's gone. Did he say he's going to fucking rape her? No, he said, thanks for bringing me my next prey. So she's oh. going to die. You said she oh. was going to get smashed, so that's like rape. Oh. It's from the Smasher. I guess that's the name of the... I guess what's the, that's what that guy... Yeah, that's fucking rapist. Is, and... Let's, we, I guess we have to go rescue Annie. Uh, who, what do you think no, I did I last will, time? I will say this right now. It is not a rapist. It's the murderer that, that's been going around. Dude, I literally... Killed. Literally, in my drunken stupor, I walked over to Octane and literally said, Find Annie. And then passed out. Yeah, where is Octane? He's probably still looking for Annie. Um, I know who it is. I already fucking solved it. Get fucked. Well, I still have the blue hunt to the guardhouse. <laughs> <laughs> um, can I roll a su survival bullshitter? You can revive. What are you doing a survival check for? Because I'm gonna fucking survive, dude. What are you supposed to be surviving? That's what Dude, I need to look for the fucking trail. We did that last- we did, we did that, that last time, time and we couldn't and find couldn't anything, find remember? shit, cause you failed. We both Dude, it's a new- terribly. it's a new day, man. I get the roll again. Um, <laughs> as, no. as you guys have all woken up and gotten, uh, breakfast that Leon Bones so carefully prepared... Wow. Hey, I'm not, Maxis. I'm not yet. Yeah. Hey, I'm, I'm, Maxis. Yes. Yeah. Um... I want you to pick high or low for me. Oh boy. <sighs> yeah, that's about it. Just pick high or low. I said low. You find a bone. You find, like, um... A finger from the knuckle down. With a little Man. flag on it. Okay. Hey, Zero, my character's shitting on you. You suck. As this is happening, you can see you can see Barun like slowly stumbling down the stairs in a drunken stoop in like a hungover state. Oh, just to preface this, my character's smiling right now with some fucking happiness aura around her. She's just fucking happy, dude. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot about that. I'm just fucking happy, man. I'm living the dream. You're the happiest camper in existence, <laughs> bud. Can I like do like a strength check so I can like or something, and like paint a painting or something? Now is like there Bob Ross? is there any reason why I found this um, bone? <sighs> Curiosity. Yeah, because you're gonna die by the bone. Live by the bone, die by the bone. Yeah, you're gonna like yeah. stick it up your butt and you're just gonna die. No. Dora's gonna um, try to play with you. Not really, it just seems to have a... It has a flag of uh, your town. Oh, okay. In it. And then when you take a quick look over at Leon, you can see that he is missing a finger. <laughs> He's a fucking robot, dude. I'm gonna go to Leon. 
and I present him with the bone. Finger thing. Oh, he's gone! <laughs> the killer's gone! What? He's gone! It was this guy who's sitting in the chair. That we never spoke to. He's gone. Dow, you fucking cunt. Oh my god, Oryx was... Oh my god. You guys can speculate because I could do this. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh... Oh my god, it was my freaking lieutenant. What if it was the printies all along? <laughs> Well, shit, man. Uh, it wasn't. No, no, you're trying to fucking cover up. It was that guy. I was gonna talk to him. Well, he was. He was there when we chased yeah, after. Yeah, but fucking Dal fucked up. Exposed. <laughs> this is the next day. They don't have to be there every day. Dude, I fucking expose you, man. Come on. <laughs> expose him. Oh right. right, yeah, I so want to talk I, to Commander Vimes. I forgot. <laughs> And yeah, I um, uh, okay, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do Commander Vimes busting in, screaming. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Christ. <laughs> what? Me so drunk. Me so horny. <laughs> Me love you long time. <laughs> okay. Alright, so, what was that what for, exactly? Oh. I, why, why are you handing me my finger back? Go finish your food. He's just like sitting in the uh, middle of the room. Okay. He's not even on bench or I anything. To, yeah, I continue to eat my food. You finish your food. Sweet. Yeah, I'm gonna eat some food too, dude. You eat some food, and I want you to roll me. Oh, or, actually, no, I don't want you to roll. I want you to pick high or low. I want to go uh, low. You do not find a finger in your food. Thank you. <laughs> you thought I was going to pick high, didn't you? You thought but, I was going to pick it. But instead, you find your omelet in, uh, your omelet in the shape of a heart. Thank you. Oh, I'm so man. happy. My character is just uh, so happy. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, I put my hands up in there and get the heart symbol. <laughs> so happy. I lost oh, my what have I done? Too. What have I done to this angry little dragon? <laughs> You've made her into something beautiful. <sighs> okay, you gonna talk about the guy? Yeah, I'm at times. Yeah. Oh, Dal, I have a question for you. Shoot. Who's the mass uh, designed for? Pardon? Who do you think that? Who was the mass designed for? You obviously made it for someone. It was designed for you. Um, I actually designed it for one person in the party. But you're not going to tell me who. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did it as subtly as possible without outright saying it. But I'm the only one who has the balls to do it anyway. But you were the only person who had the balls to put it on. Which he knew would happen. Actually, I didn't know that it would happen. But you counted on it. I counted on one person putting the mask on, and if nobody put on the mask, it would have spoke to our dear drab and dreary friend Alucard. <laughs> <laughs> Which would have been hilarious, because I could be sending all of these messages to him, being like, hey, you should put me on, hey. Put on the mask. Fucker, put on the mask. God damn it, you stupid... You started, God damn it, you stupid wine drinker. Put on the mask. Alright, let's continue to Commander Vimes. And, um, just after all of you had finished your lovely breakfast, Vimes rushes in and screaming, Oh, there's been a murder! Oh my god! I don't know what's going on anymore! I give up! I'm... Fucking throwing my job away, I don't care who takes it! Fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck you for! Fuck the bones! Fuck that kid! Fuck everyone! Hey, I just come over commander, and just uh, place my hand on his shoulders. Before, I don't really care about your issue or anything. The ground. All right, Jamie's anyway, gonna though. ask him if he's mad, bro. <laughs> no, your character's so happy. Your character's so happy. You can't he's that. mad, bro. As you ask him if he's mad, you can see every single vein on his head. 
heartthrob. And he goes, No! I'm perfectly cool, calm, and collected! I'm not mad! I'm not going crazy! Hey, on other news, uh, Commander Vimes, I wanna, hey, give you this. I found it and didn't give it to you yesterday, because you ran out the door like a madman. So, here you go. It's your, uh, guardhouse blueprints for some odd reason. <laughs> He takes the- he looks at the blueprints for a moment, and his eyes are kind of tracing it, and he goes, How the fuck did somebody get these? Why the <laughs> fuck do my guards seem completely incompetent? Oh my god. And he just kind of goes on for a little bit while he's, okay. like, wrapping it up, uh, putting some- uh, a strap of leather around it, tying it up, and putting it away, and then he goes, I'm calm? Everything is good. I, I put I put like my hand on like his elbow and I'm just kind of like breathe and tell us who was on? murdered. All right. So there was this pistain of a dwarf who spent half of his life insulting people. Okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is it who I think it is? Is it who we think it is? It no, is who you think. Guy. Oh my oh god. god. He was it. murdered this morning. <gasps> oh my god. Oh, I actually like that guy. The rest of my guards are too busy dealing with other problems. He's the leader of the dwarves. <laughs> no, he wasn't the leader. He was, he the, was leader. the brother. He was the brother, yeah. Of the leader. Oh, good lord, not dwarves. Okay, okay, dwarves. okay. Jamie's gonna put her hand up in the air and point towards zero. Oh. Man, she's so happy right now, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I don't know, news. I'm gonna go win. Are you gonna high five me? Uh, Zero. Uh, and there's five, one yeah. thing. And there's one thing that somebody had to record. And the only thing that he said was, "Fuck the piss stained pubic hair wig wearing paladin." <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> now, oh, this, this is more than a personal grudge. That you and he kind of looks at your hair. Oh my god, your hair does look like piss. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> can we roll like a strength check on that and see if he dies from that? No, can we not? Can we not? Can we like? Yeah. Can me? Can me? Can me and Jamie restrain him? Can me and Jamie roll strength checks to restrain him from dying? No, <laughs> to like, restrain, restrain, restrain zero, restrain Maxis. Why? The last thing he said was <laughs> insulting you, Maxis. Maybe he just didn't really like me. I didn't do nothing. We're restraining him. Let's We're go. We're restraining him. We're rolling strength checks. I'm not doing anything. I already left. <laughs> I was like, oh, here's the uh, blueprint. Anyways, Let's go. Anyways. <laughs> Fucking wreck, dude. I restrain him with ease. I crit him. Um. <laughs> Crit restraint. Arhun, it's that moment of, um... I'm still... Hungover. Have you have you ever done any... Uh, have you ever go to do a job, <clears throat> and then somebody... Can, let's say you're picking up a box. And yeah. you go to pick up a box, but somebody swipes it out from under you, and, walks, and he walks away, and there's nothing else, and you just look around going, well... Yeah, um, yeah. Um... Um... Wait. Um... So do I have to do a strength check to see if I'm not restrained? I think you have to do a strength save. You, what you do is actually you're going to be doing. I, you can do either a strength or dexterity check to see if you can get out of this. Once he fails, I'm going to start licking his face. <laughs> All right, well, I can either. You're wearing a mask. You can't do it. You can't do it. Twenty plus nice. one. I like my <laughs> odds with two. Um. Well, he, Jamie rolled a twenty. Three, but you still have a chance to roll twenty. Ooh, you failed. <laughs> he failed, man. Rip. I forgot to do slash roll. There you go, muffin. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wreck, dude. Jamie, Can I lick his face. Jamie. Well, you can't because you have a what, mask what on. What you kind of do is, um, Barhun reaches out, but you grab both of Max's arms. And happiness. Before Barhun can do it, you're just, you're energized by your happiness. That's right. 
And it's just, you're so happy, you have to lick this man's face. And so yes! you do. Yes. And Vimes is a little freaked out, and he takes a step back, and he goes, <coughs> this, this, has, this has more to do than your petty squabbles with a dwarf. Though I do believe that you were just put on a dwarven grudge list, so I hope you... Um, you're gonna have fun! And he has a smile on his face. I... I, I... I, as I'm being restrained and licked, I look at it and I'm and like, I do not understand why um, I'm not this grudge. Arhun? Yeah. But... If you're on a dwarven grudge list, you know, you know from I'm... being a dwarf yourself. Yeah. That thanks. a dwarven grudge list, depending on who you are, is either the greatest honor... If you're another dwarf, because um, there are some sections of dwarves that thoroughly enjoy pranking each other. Yeah. Like, you know, um, sudden cave collapse <coughs> is... Um, homes being burnt down... That's you know, the simple the stuff. The, the fun the stuff. The dwarves, yeah. Um, but they never make it serious enough to ruin somebody's livelihood. They would, ne uh, they will burn down a house. They will burn down the person's house, but they will never burn down crops, cattle, kill cattle. They will never go out of their way to destroy somebody's livelihood. In fact, they will go. They will go out of the way to make sure nothing bad happens to their life. Yeah. Well. Yeah. If if the house, let's say like the house is inside of the inside of where all of the. Um, uh, we and stuff like that are. They won't burn down the house. They will destroy the carriage that is used to transport everything. <laughs> <coughs> they make small setbacks to yeah. people that are on the grudge list, but they never go out of their way to ruin somebody's day. Unless you're on the grudge list of a noble. Wah, wah, wah. Yeah, I wonder if I'm on the grudge list because I didn't even talk to the guy. <laughs> I'm on the grudge list for being polite. I oh, never it's me. I, I it's me. Never... You're on the grudge I... list because he was the last person you talked about before he died. And he goes, but but here's, here's, here's a bigger problem. The Dwarven Prince just died inside of human territory. That's not good. Oh, you children no. do the math. Yeah. We're at war, basically. War, there's gonna be there's gonna be a war. Well, Central war. Right now, it's going to take <coughs> uh, our dutiful Lord DSP okay. uh, quite a while to attempt to deal with the situation, but there is somebody that I could attempt to bring here, or attempt you guys' audience with to see if you guys might, and he kind of, um, he pulls out an envelope and passes it to, and passes it to, I'm gonna roll a d3 here, just roll 1d3. He hands it to Barhoon. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> and then he goes, but um anyways, what I need the f what I need you three and your interesting compatriot to do is I need the four of you <laughs> to go to the market square and <coughs> See if you can find anything. I just don't have too many guards that I can spare. That's understandable. We will, um... Especially stupid guards like that who makes you uh, drop well, off the guard roof <laughs> like that. But I'm not uh, there to say I anything. So. Currently, currently, I have two of my best guards known as the Double A Team. <laughs> now your name's just be the A Team. The Double A Team. All right. Going from double D to double A's, yay. Yay. Well, you'll figure out why they're called this in a, a small bit. Are they girls? Oh my I swear God. to God, if they're girls again. Dal. 
where. Dallas, I supposed to get that note in my uh, handouts? Um, I will be sending it to you shortly when okay. you, either you say that you open it or whenever I get the chance to actually write it down. Oh, okay. But I will hopefully send it to you by the time the session ends. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and then he goes, if you have any information, there's a guard barracks not too far away from the marketplace. And he... Do I have a map of this? Give me a quick one. I do. Where is it? It's right there. Do you have a harbor map? Let's look at a nice map, will we? Like, as he's taking this out, also, I kind of say, wait, how was he murdered? How, how, how did you find him? Oh my god. Nice one. Yeah. <coughs> Fucking Ross kept on calling my phone. Oh, I, I'm sorry that Ross is calling your phone. I'm sorry, too. He thinks I'm, like, forming some Illuminati group. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck, man? Leave me alone. Alright, everyone. Welcome to the city that you're staying in called Diablo Harbor. Diablo Harbor. You have the northern side of the area, which is kind of like the lower... Um... Area, sort of slum-like areas. Mm -hmm. And then you have the south, which is the nobles district and where um, the baron of this place resides. And then it's the only place that has the Aperture Magi Academy, where crazy mm -hmm. wizards do crazy things. Man. Um, somebody thought that they came up with a way to see invisible undead because he thinks that undead are invisible oh my god crazy wizards wizards am i right <coughs> now, the marketplace in question is i will be marking it with a nice yellow box oh well that's convenient where are we where are we uh, you guys are, give me a moment, I need to remember where you guys are. You guys are at the... I will mark it oh my God. with an orange box. It will be on the southern side. Well, we only okay, so the bridge. not that far, we just have to cross the bridge. Jinx. <laughs> Both of you owe me a soda. <laughs> oh shit. So um like at like I I did like let's say how did he how how did he die? How how did he <coughs> found? Well it seems to be the same thing that this smasher person has been doing with all of his other victims, where they seem to be missing their head. That's odd. I thought Annie was gonna be the next victim. Well, and he might be the next victim. And I'm Annie. questioning... I'm What's questioning... Annie? She was a girl that was with us. She was taken in last night. I'm wait, questioning... wait, 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 wait. Are you saying Annie is that sweet little girl who used to sit on that chair and drink orange juice? Yes. Oh, Severinus is not going to be happy. Who? Um, you'll you'll meet him soon enough. Um, actually, uh, to tell you the truth, um, recently there has been a change in how Dia Diablo Harbor is ruled. Um, each month, one <coughs> one noble from yeah either the human. Elven, Dwarven, and Draconic Kingdoms come to take over this port town to ensure that the trades are being sent are either to them 
or are things that they are shipping to someone else because Diablo Isle is kind of in the middle of all of the kingdoms. It's a tr this is a trade port. Ah. Uh. I'm questioning how this the Smasher must be a very powerful man if he's able to overwhelm if he's able to overwhelm him and kill him. Or he yes. can the attacks. Or, or, it does or... seem that this man is extremely powerful, <laughs> and it's one of the reasons why I'm debating on stating, uh, well, I will need to ask our new lord when he gets here, if we can do that. Though, when he comes, I might wish to talk to the four of you and try to um, come and help me convince our lord, our new lord, to instate martial law. I do not like this. But if it is necessary, uh, we will all try. Um, think of this, think of it this way, um, sir. It's for the good of the people to ensure that they don't go out at night while they will become prey to this man before we can catch him. Would that, would that be all martial law is used for? That would be the only thing that martial law is used for to ensure that everyone stays in their house at night so that way no one who goes out can become prey to this man ever again. <laughs> Because he seems to only ever strike at night, but I never thought of it while a... I'm gonna roll thing. While a halfling dictator was in place. Um, hmm. Well, if that's, only, if that's the only thing that's going to, be, going to be done, I'm not going to argue against it. Out of character right now, I'm thinking that he was actually the murderer... And Octane got a hold, got a hold of him, and killed him in the same way the smash that he killed other people. Why would Octane kill Bomb Tomadil? He, he was the murderer, because he, I added, still out of character. He always made comments against other, other races. And they might not have been just. Jokes or minor insults, or could, oh. or this person could just be a fucking shapeshifter and he <laughs> possibly impersonated me. And now we are going to go to our dear friend Elucard. I'm slinging oh. this battle axe that I have in my inventory. <laughs> oh my god, the battle axe! Jesus Christ! You're selling the battle axe? Yeah. Only he one. takes a look at it. He takes a look at it. And he's examining the entire thing. And he pushes hey, a button, good. and it turns into a sword. Oh, oh my god. Wow. What type of sword is it? Oh no, a this battle axe doesn't do sword. anything. It isn't special. You oh. guys use knowledge... You guys use knowledge... Um, you, you guys use knowledge... <coughs> you mean... No one inspected it and looked at it. Yeah, I know. I didn't do it anyways. I just saw a battle axe and was like, well, I can't use it. And he's, so. he's looking at this going... And then he looks at you and goes... What, I'm a, I, I just use these things. What the fuck am I supposed to use a battle axe for? It apparently turns into a sword. Yeah, and then he <laughs> pushes it and it turns into a battle axe. And he goes, I've only heard rumors of these. Tell you what. I will buy this from you at top dollar. Okay. Don't sell it. <laughs> <laughs> You're not there, though. <laughs> Don't sell it. It could be good. Think about what's, it. Just... What's, what's, your top, what's your top dollar? Uh, my top uh... dollar for something like this will be 85 gold pieces. That's nothing. That's nothing. We have, we have five, 55,000 times that amount in our hole. Yeah, I know. And, uh, uh, you can't use it, Baroon. I can't use it, no. I, I can use it when it's a sword. Yeah. No one, no one is able to use this right now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well, we should just hold on to it until someone... You should hold on can. to it. 
We should hold the fuck onto it, dude. Well, you're not here, so. <laughs> yeah, no, you make this decision. We're just uh, metagaming. No, it's okay. You guys are able to buy it later. <laughs> For more. Yeah, for more. It's, yeah. It's, it's up to Burn on what he wants. Tell you what, Burn. I'm going to give you um, a minute to think about it. Okay. I'll well, this. I go. Oh, you're going to sell it? Yeah. <laughs> since, I, since you're not in a huge guys are here, I'm just going to sell it anyways. <laughs> you get 85 gold pieces. Okay, thank you. Without a mind, and he it. looks at you and says, you know what? In addition to that, I am willing to give you... Okay, what I want you to do <coughs> okay. is I want you to roll me a persuasion check. Oh, snap. Uh, I don't have any persuasion, so it's only at zero. So, so 1d20. Yeah, roll me 1d20. I will give you a 20% finder's fee for this weapon from whoever buys it. Okay. <laughs> and he holds his hand out, and, uh, well, what he does first <coughs> is he writes up a contract, mm -hmm. puts, it, um, puts a quill on the table so that way you can sign it, and then holds his hand out. Can I rebuy the sword? <laughs> yes, you can. Yes, you can rebuy the sword. All right, I want the sword. Yeah, oh you have to God. come back in here, though. I'm You're gonna have it. to go back in there, but. Yeah. Um, oh my God! I swear to you. Um, Alucard, as you leave, you after you do the transaction, you and Jamie kind of cross paths. Um, Jamie, when you get into the weapons shop, you can Just remember see, he likes me. You can see the guy. Um, he's putting up a new. Battle axe, what he has called <coughs> a switch axe. Oh my god! Wow. Clever and original. But can't yeah. can't you? Doesn't uh, Jamie cannot use that weapon though? Nobody can. Like, because does Jamie he said have nobody can weapon? use that weapon. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yet. Yet. Okay. Um. Because. In order to be able to, in order to use it as, you can use it as one, I'm going to say in combat for this, until you take a full day. Which means your character is out of commission for an entire <coughs> day to train with it. Interesting. You can only use it in the Great Axe or the Great Sword form. Oh, I can't use it. Until, that, until you have taken a full day, one of the things that you will actually be able to do is, let's say you can do more than one attack per turn. What you could do is you could hit him with the axe and change it into a sword and oh then chop. Why do you fucking sell this burn? You could have gave it to me. Oh, well, it's a battle axe, man. <laughs> <laughs> the, funny thing is, is, the funny thing is, is that you run in there Without you even knowing price. about it. Just give me the price. Without even knowing about it. I was like zoned off. Ross was bugging me. It <laughs> the funny is thing. 100 gold pieces. Alright, I'm taking it. Alright, well, you buy it for 100 yeah, gold sure. pieces. And um, what he does is he looks, uh, he looks and goes, Actually, you know, I tell you what. Eighty for you. Yes! I'll take it even more. Under one condition. Oh boy. Oh my god. What's the condition? Um, he holds out a parcel for you and he puts it on the table and he goes, There was a man in the mask who I think is <laughs> has been moving around inside of the Laughing Skull Tavern recently, but I haven't seen him in a while and he didn't come by to pick up his parcel. Okay. Though, the problem is... It has a royalty symbol I've never seen before. <coughs> are we gonna do a history check? You can do a history check. Alright, who wants to... Are you gonna help as me this is happening, No, as this is happening, I walk in, because I'm about to upgrade my Warhammer. And I see this, well, that, and I'm rolling a history a check. By the way, it takes a day to get your upgrade, by the way. So. Yeah, I know. I have Sacred Flame, dude. Calm down. Okay. 
He's he's got ways to deal with. I've problems. got ways to deal with problems. Though. Okay. I got a crossbow too. Okay. Okay. All right. So I roll a history check as I walk in. <laughs> Wait. Why? Hold and on. I guess so since... once... Oh, I cast guidance. I cast guidance. So, okay. So, so you on. get a plus one on it. No guidance. How does no guidance is you roll a. You roll a D four, and that's oh, number. you roll an additional. D Sorry, I keep yeah. My mind keeps going to Pathfinder, which although it's a broken system, it's stupid. So roll your D four first. <laughs> it's too late. <laughs> roll your D four. Okay, you get a twenty. Barhun, I'm going to send you something. Oh goody! Oh my god, all the things. What's my sword called? It's called Switch Axe. Alright. And I will be- I will DM you the stats once I finish working on it. Okay. Because right now your defender is better. I know. But I- I know. I know. I- I, I know. <laughs> I just wanted it. Defender is so good though, dude. I just wanted it, dude. <laughs> you can do a wield- do a wield great sword. <laughs> I don't can I put think... a sword in my mouth? <laughs> I don't... Can I like Zoro in One Piece? Oh no, God. probably I'm not. Be... Hey, you would kill yourself. <laughs> so we can try in the back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I already asked if there was like a monkey grip ability you can get. Does it have the potential to be way better than what it is? Yes. Alright, and another question. So this day I have to train with, is that technically a day I can take off from playing with you guys? Um, <laughs> yeah, actually. Alright, cool. I trained today, haha, oh, fuck you. <laughs> train and see ya. <laughs> fuck off. You, well, I, I'm kind of giving you a reason that if you can't show up to session for some reason, um, and I'll be doing this for other people too, um, it will give you guys a reason to do something that I can just toss you guys out of the way for and just say, hey, congratulations, you can use this now. Uh -huh. do, 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 do. Um, okay, so I hand, I, I take out my Warhammer and I kind of hand it over and say how much to make it better. Crickets. 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 <laughs> I'm sending you something while I'm doing this, and while I'm also looking at the uh, upgrade. <laughs> the guy with the only normal weapon <laughs> still. <laughs> Everyone Maybe else I has these crazy, weapon. fantastic weapons, and I just have a Warhammer. No, I, have I thought you. I thought yours is. I thought yours was a special Warhammer, though. No, know? it's Warhammer plus one. Oh, <laughs> just upgraded oh, ones. Oh, okay. And he he's looking at it for a moment and goes, Well, it's already enchanted, but I could always make it better. Well, I had to hit harder. That's all I need. Uh, but I could also make some modifications to it. Mm, I'm intrigued. What kind of what kind of Well, how would you like a weapon that's coated in silver? So good against werewolves? <laughs> <coughs> it sounds like it's alluding to. After he's done, I actually want to do an upgrade for my uh, defender sword. You cannot upgrade your defender. Rip. I, 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 what, what? This, what this is a special. Do? This is a special magical weapon that cannot be upgraded any further. It's kind of already ridiculous. I mean, <laughs> plus nine. What the world? <laughs> Or with plus seven. So you I'm can eating. double wield like axes, so I can have two axes in my hands. Or double wield great swords, they're so strong. <laughs> <laughs> no, I have another axe in my uh, my equipment. Um Oh, okay. Great axes no. Um there are some weapons that you have to use two handed. And you cannot mm -hmm. dual wield. Okay, no man. Because they took out the feet for it. Holy crap. That's a shame. Um, so, 
Um, Madam Jamie, if you wouldn't mind doing this for me, I would be grateful grateful for you. And in fact, I would also um, be inclined to give you and your friends a bit of a discount. I want to ask Barhoom what I should do. And he really likes you guys more than me. <laughs> I kind of, I, 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 I look up at Jamie and, and I kind of go like, do not open it. For if you do, we might face the wrath of Octane. I'm still going to take it anyway. Yeah, we'll take it and do it, but don't open it. And I kind of just look back at the uh, blacksmith and I'm just kind of like, what would this silver coating do? What, how would it benefit? Well, it would help against any sort of uh, lycanthropes. Is there anything else you could do? Well, I, well, I am willing to enhance it to giving it uh, more magical power. I was about to think about something to say to Jamie since he popped up beside me. Oh Could yeah, you... I'm going to give you something. I was like, uh, no, I was about to say, uh, you were gonna, I was thinking about you were going to show me your new weapon, and you're like, huh, that looks familiar. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but there might be something that I can do about it, but I'm just not sure if you would like it. Um... Cost you two hundred gold. <laughs> two thousand. <000. laughs> what? What? Dude, I only got what, eighty-five for it. What do you have in mind? Well, you need eighty uh, gold for it. Yeah. I, I for it. have a inscription that so could help me make a hammer for you. Hey, hey out of character. I mean, that, if you make if you, out of character right now. If you can make the hammer look like Doom Hammer, that would make my day. Do hammer from WoW. That would be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I am a nerd. But all right, continue. Well, that whenever you hit something, you are able to strike your targets with a bolt of lightning. <gasps> yes, yes. I <laughs> get my eyes light up, and I just look at him like, "Do it." And he looks at you. Are you sure that you wish to do this? I can just remember your weapon's cursed, by the way. My what? what? Your weapon's cursed. My weapon isn't cursed. Oh, your armor is. My so. armor's cursed. So you've His armor's is cursed, and he's only allowed to take it off for eight hours away, uh, eight hours a day. So I can get the long rest. So that way he can at least sleep, because his armor's not a dick. Yeah. I I I'm, I'm, I'm I look at him with the most seriousness. I'm like, do it. It's do his armor have it, a dick? It will be sort of costly. Oh boy. I'm willing to pay whatever. Alright, and he takes a... Um, what he does first is he pulls out a belt. Wear mm -hmm. this for the entire day. Okay. And then come back for the hammer either at the end of the day if I'm not done due to any other blokes who seem to come in and want things. How's it gonna? Co how much is it costing? I slip on the belt, like as he's talking. I, spl I put. You on slip the on the belt, and he asks for six thousand gold pieces. Ooh. I look at him, and I'm just like, I'll be right back. <laughs> and I walk over. <laughs> To the boat, take out ten thousand gold. Um, when when you leave, he asks for the belt back. Oh, I I toss it to him. I take it off, toss it to him. Walk over to the boat, take out ten thousand gold from the chest. Walk back in, and just place six thousand gold on. Okay, you the give camp. him six thousand gold, and his eyes kind of light up for a moment. He goes, "I promise you that this will be the best hammer that you have ever encountered." No hammer will be able to beat this hammer. No, no seriously, Dal. If it looks like Doom, ha Doom Hammer, when I get it, I will be so happy. <laughs> I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna link out with uh, Doom Hammer. I'm gonna see what Doom Hammer does. I want to see if the Doom Hammer is better than what I have planned. <laughs> 
All right, so I guess do I put the belt back on? Do I have to put the belt back yep, on? Yep, you put the you put the put it back on. I put the belt back on and walk up and walk back into the tavern. Wow, Doomhammer! Although it looks cool, this thing is shit. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Its abilities are garbage. Yeah, it looks cool though. I mean, yes, it does look cool, but the abilities for it. Fucking garbage! That's is it, wait, disgrace. Is it actually? Is it actually? in... I feel like you're totally BSing right now. <laughs> um, when you use Flame Tongue, Frost Band, or Rock Biter, you have a chance to supercharge your Doom Hammer with that elemental type, causing devastating effects on your enemies. Mhm. Mm That's garbage. I don't play WoW, but I have a friend who told me that anything that has to do with ability usage yeah, in order to make it better, especially if it's just chance and not it happens, it's garbage. You don't want to yeah. rely on chance in WoW. Yeah. But Doomhammer looks fucking amazing. Yeah, it does, dude. It looks really good. But, and then he kind of waves you goodbye when you leave, and uh, he instantly begins to go downstairs and works on his stuff. Yeah, like, as I leave, I do, like, a quiet resolve. Like, I put my fist up, and I just kind of, like, shake it slightly. Wow. We're all soldiers now. <laughs> um, Can I, oh, um... Dow, Dow, do you, do you see the picture of, like, the Doom Hammer in multiple variants? No. Oh my god, I need to put that in the chat. Hold on. I only see the wow shit. Well, while while Barhoon's dealing with the blacksmith, I go wake up Dora. Dora asks if she can sleep in five minutes longer. As opposed to what... what <laughs> look at that shit, dude. I'll be like, yes, but you have to come down after those five minutes. No, I'm staying in bed. Please, this is important. Staying in bed. This is important. Staying in bed. Important. Nope. Roll a persuasion check or literally just pick her up out of bed. <laughs> <laughs> but, but he has a negative one persuasion. Oh, persuasion though. Then just pick her up out of the bed. Alright. Let me start I'll raping her. Out of my bed. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. I'm gonna pick her I up out swear. Of bed. What rhymes with sloth? Rape. <laughs> no. All right, we're all serious. Uh, I killed the chat. You killed us. I, I killed rip. everyone. But, um, yeah. I I well, get her. I get her downstairs. I kind of I like as, as she does. Her. She yeah. She follows you downstairs eventually as you pick her up and she's kind of cuddled up to you and she's asleep. <laughs> as as <laughs> as I see her, as I see him carry her down the stairs, I kind of just like I lift up her tunic just to see if the wound is completely healed, to see if there's scarring or anything. There's a small bit of scarring, but slowly the scarring is, is starting to go away. And I, I, I put it down, I just kind of look up at it, and it should heal fine. She That's should good be fine. Alright, I, I set her down at the bar. No, set her down one of these chairs, dude. One of these big comfy chairs. Well, the bar's already closer and the pretties are here, so we have business to take care of. Oh, gosh. I, I see them walk in, I just kind of look over them. I, I walk over to them. And is Commander Vine still just standing there, or is he gone? Um, he's actually talking with the Prinnies, and he's having a sh kind of weird conversation with them. Um... <laughs> oh wait, isn't Leon still really mad at the Prinnies? I still- I still Leon- Leon is coming. beyond pissed off at the Prinnies, <laughs> but... <laughs> but the Prinnies brought him a nice cake. Whoa, I, I, like, as they walk in, I just kind of salute, I do, like, a quick little salute. They go to salute, but realize that all three of them are carrying the cake to give to Leon, and they don't salute as they attempt to wake their way faster <coughs> to Leon to give him the cake. And now I get to roll. Leon is at peace by the cake, even though he can't eat it. 
It's a really nice. Do we cake. get to eat the cake? <laughs> oh, he's probably gonna give it to his uh nephew, Patchy. You probably yeah, you probably. Oh, speaking that. of which, how is how is Patchy feeling after you know? <laughs> he's kind of falling asleep at his um, area. Mmm, jeez. But he looks like that. It's like you know when you had a really good sleep and you're just yeah not more yeah. That's what you look like. Mm. I bet it was a really good sleep. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Hint, hint. I don't remember what happened, dude. <laughs> yeah, you don't remember what happened. Oh, you. Second like memory. Yeah. So, are we gonna? I, I, I walk over to. Uh, I walk over to Max's and I kind of look at him. And I'm like, so, are we going to do this wedding soon, or? This is this isn't gonna happen for a very long time. We have a lot of shit to do. It go seems like. City? Yeah, we're gonna go. Yeah. Wait, dude, you're gonna get married, dude? Eventually. <laughs> At some point. The three dude, we know thing. this great wedding planner, dude. Well, oh, no. when when it, when the time comes, we'll definitely. I mean, it seems kind of like an easy day. I mean, we just gotta have to stop a war from happening. I mean, not, it's the usual Tuesday. <laughs> yeah, war? maybe after the usual Tuesdays, when it's a usual Monday where nothing happens at all, I can do it. Well, let me know if you want to meet the wedding planner, dude. No problem, dude. And he kind of squints and goes, that's my thing, dude. And then what he does is he kind of like, he begins looking away and with his two flippers, he puts them, he points at his eyes and then points them both at you as he slowly begins like kind of phasing through Commander Vines and goes back to where he was standing and he just has this look of utter disgust at you. <laughs> I'm just like trying to hold back a laugh because that whole scene was just comical. Oh, by the uh, way, dudes, um, we 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 have something important to tell you, all, dudes. Yep. Yes. What is it? By next week, the ship will be back up and running order, dudes. Sweet. Um, so Amazing. Anyway. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to give uh, Alucard the the thing I just got from the guy. Oh, you mean this battle sword thing? No, the no. fucking envelope thingy. Oh, the envelope. Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna give that to you. Oh, okay. What's this envelope for? Uh, for the memes. What's the know. meme? Whoops, the, what's the memes? <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's just something of being funny? It's just... Yeah, trying to get me pissed off or something? I'm super happy right now, dude. This living dude. Room. It's it's what he needs to give to Octane. Octane. I, I know that but my character does that. No idea about that though. I, I kind of look. What the fuck's going on? I, I, I look <laughs> over. I look over at Alucard, and I'm just like, "It's for Octane. Just don't open it." Okay. There you say. That's why I was giving it to Alucard. So you don't open it. And I like I I sit down at the bar, but then I stand up again. And I'm, and I, 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 I'm like, yeah. And I just look around at the party, and I'm just kind of like, well, it seems we have some business to attend to. I think we might as well take care of it now. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh man, I gotta fucking log in again. <sighs> I hate that happens. Rip, rip. My character should be extremely happy right now. We're supposed to go find our missing party member. Please. You mean Annie? Yeah, dude. That's My like missing party. I'm extremely money. fucking happy for this. <laughs> for no fucking apparent reason. I want to edit my page, not look at sheets. Mm. Fucking asshole's page. <laughs> I'm Dal, just trying Dal, to add did you, one letter and that's it won't let me in. Dal, did you see those variants of Doomhammer that I posted? Yes, I did. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? It does look fantastic. I'm going to have to pick one of them. So mm. we're going to eventually have to go to the. There we go. Now I can pop, pop it up. All right, all right. Thanks for that, Dale. Okay, you guys begin to head towards. 
We walk across the bridge. Yeah. Mark oh, district. Oh. Is that a wood elf? Is that a chick dressed in leaf armor? Yes. That's awesome. Oh, there's Bomb Tom. Wow. Could not have made. Oh, is that the. It's, it's, okay, are these two guys the A team? Because they look really BA. Oh, I have no idea why we're here. Who is this so... guy? Why does he look like... <laughs> this guy looks like something straight out of StarCraft. T t hey. t take a moment to look at his na name. Take a moment just to look at it. Not Necromance. <laughs> mm -hmm. Nice. Wait, not... A, hey, uh... Necro. I think the not first thing I do... Necromancer. Not Necromancer. Not Necromancer. I think the but first then, thing I do when you put it all together, it's not necromancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's undead. Mm -hmm. uh, I get it. <laughs> I think the first thing I do when I see Bomb Tomadil is go over and just kind of like do like what dwarves have this special thing we do when we see someone who has died. Both the knights take a moment and they actually stop you from getting any closer. And one of them goes, "Hold, who are you?" I look at him and I say, "I am Barun Belmar." Commander, what the fuck is his name? Commander, what's his name? God, I can't remember his name. Commander Vimes, Commander Vimes sent us, sent me and my partner. Uh, Commander Vimes sent you. Yes, he did. And it is customary. We are the A team, the double A team. I, <laughs> or him. Orum and... And I am Argentum. <clears throat> alright, alright. Nice to meet both of you, but first... Let me just do this. And I kind of- I walk up next to him and I do, like, George has this respectful thing we do where we kneel, and we just kind of, like, put out our hands, and I- While, uh, while you're doing quietly... that, they're kind of going off to examine various different places just to see if they can find any clues. And like as, as Hi like guys. I'm I kneeling there, you going. can just see me w say like a few words quietly, and it's just like a cleric prayer for like his next life. And then I stand up. I pay my respects to the dead as well. I think I stand up and do an investigation check and just look around the area. No, I do an investigation <laughs> check on Bomb Tombadil to see how he was killed. <laughs> Look at all these pussies bowing to this guy who died. <laughs> I've seen so many people dead. <laughs> hey, Alucard. <laughs> Roll your investigation <laughs> check. Call respecting the that's, dead. That's, that's my thought to, to what's happening, though. Okay? Like, I'm I cast happy. guidance on myself. Look, I cast look, at guidance. These, look, look at this guy, man. I cast <laughs> guidance, then I look over at Bomb Tomadou. Okay, roll your d4 first. Okay, you get to add a plus 3 to that. This man was killed by a suplex. Oh my god. Oh, shit. That is awesome. <laughs> that is um, amazing. While you're, while you're looking around, you you realize you take a step to the side and you can see like tiny bits of hair and dandruff, uh, dandruff as well as um, a different set of blood than bombs, which was just kind of like a giant blood splat on the ground in this area right underneath them, and it just kind of like so all over that way. That direction. Um, so it came from... So... What but this do? man was suplexed so hard that his head exploded. Oh my god. This person is powerful. This person's like scary powerful. I should not have upgraded. No, I should have upgraded my. No, it's fine. I should have upgraded my Warhammer. No. But I kind of just like look up no. at like you. I look up and I'm like visibly shaken by what I have seen. And I look at the rest of the party members. And I was like, he was suplexed into another dimension. <laughs> Not I'm the weirdest actually... thing I've seen for a death. <laughs> um, Alucard, when you're looking around, you see that all the other shop owners seem to be gone except for two. Artesia. Yeah. There's Artesia and 
essentially not necromancer who he's kind of he looks at you and goes oh yes hello please come look at my wares what do you have for sale no i have many magical artifacts that i have collected throughout my and then he looks at you for a moment oh great it's you <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so you know about me. Um, I see. <laughs> remember, you kind of do remember not Necromancer, but he kind of, he always went by the name of Mark. 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 Okay. Um, on occasion, whenever you needed some kind of poison or anything to help, he was kind of your go-to guy. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, great. Who are you killing now? Uh, oh yeah, now I remember you. Sorry, it's been a while. Uh, actually, not really much anyone anymore, apparently. It's kind of been kind of boring lately. Oh yeah, I'd believe it. After you were taken to... After you were taken, I had a very, very, very long time to rethink my life, and thus I started collecting very, very, very magical wares. Uh, it's really interesting. I just have to help these failure people over here who's a dragon, a guy who keeps getting himself knocked out, and the drunk guy down there over there with the lady over there. So. Oh, he's a dwarf. There's there, there's nothing between a drunkard and a dwarf. Yeah, I know. I hear you're this. See, I, you're, you're so, I hear, when you I live hear this and I kind of shout. I kind of shout. He's not wrong. <laughs> when, you, when you live as long as me, you realize that you can get to a dwarf's heart through alcohol. Or get his trust. Well, I've seen it happen, though, but, you know. <laughs> since doing this thing. But what, what can I what, what can I do for you? What brings you out to the this uh, neck of the woods that I can finally put a face to the name? Uh, I'm just wondering. Do you have, like, a magical cloak or something like that? A cloak of invisibility. <laughs> I'm just he wondering. He opens his cloak, and he has five cloaks inside. Oh, Victoria has got a physical invisibility. I swear. Oh, what do you got there? What type of cloaks do you have available? Well, I have a, a cloak that will turn you invisible. A cloak that will make people see double, unless they are compatriots of yours. <laughs> a cloak that has a lot of useful items. A oh, cloak the... and a cloak. <laughs> A cloak, last two, of two, a cloak of too many two, things, apparently. The last, the last two cloaks, I really don't know what they do because I never bothered wearing them slash look at them. Dow, can I have a cloak without it being armor of anything? You just want a really cool looking cloak? I want a really cool looking cloak. <laughs> <laughs> Does he just sell normal cloaks? Um, he looks in the back and he actually like pulls out a really cool looking cloak and hands it and goes... I'll um, tell you what, as a new customer, and uh, I would say that you're a friend of my friends here, you, you can have this ordinary mundane cloak for free. I want one with the power. Oh. I was going to get one for the invincibility one, but okay. I want the double one. <laughs> no, I want the, du the one where people can see double of me. Uh, oh, that would be so useful for me. Yeah, for you. Dow, you want right. to give me that? All right. Um, if you want this, it will be twelve thousand gold pieces. Mm, okay, too much money for me. <laughs> I kind of just like look over and like shout at shout at Jamie. Just I just kind of shout, "Give me an ordinary cloak." Hold on, come give me some money. I got nine k. I I toss, I toss two hundred gold like across the courtyard. I need more than that. No, for not not a normal cloak for me. Oh, God! Dal, explain to me this uh, cloak that does the double. Um, he puts it on, and you can kind of, as as he puts it on, the moment he puts it on. Uh huh. You see two. Okay, so did he give me a, a cloak with power? Any powers with it? Nope, the, the cloak that you have has no powers on it. It's just an ordinary, mundane cloak. Mm. How much is but it? But it looks really snappy. Is it, is it 12k? 
But the cloak that he just put on that kind of showed two of them uh -huh. cost 12,000 gold pieces. So you said you have 9,000? Yeah. You know what? I throw over 3,000 gold. I toss over 3,000 gold. And 3,200 gold. Roll to throw 3,000 and... Is it a dexterity 3, It's going to be a strength. You can just be walk strength. over there, man. I don't understand yeah, why you're going to throw it. Over there. Over there. I'm mean, just like, yeah, we're going to throw it. Sure. It's just I don't feel like I, I want to talk to this chick. And... All right, Jamie, you are the the gold is tossed on top of your head. <laughs> nice, I'm happy. And you get a cloak of displacement. He also can he also get a normal cloak with a two hundred extra gold to wear him? Nah, yeah, you get a normal cloak for. Free, it's like an actually. ivory. It it's you, like it an... gives you the two hundred. It gives you the two hundred back. So this oh. doesn't affect my armor or anything, right? It does not affect your armor at all. All right, I'm can the... you DM me the name of it so I can copy and paste it? So like in the, the, the cloak, cloak of displacement. Is that what it is? <laughs> cloak, um, of get, cloak of displacement. I just need to reread it, and then I will shoot it to you. A I'm little reading later. it right now. <laughs> <laughs> and the um, the um, cloak. Uh, if you're reading it right now, and um, is it on a tab? Uh, no. I downloaded the Dungeon Master Guide. Oh, it, it doesn't tell me. The hell. It doesn't tell me what the- you already told me I had it. I already told you I had it already. I was looking at all the cloaks. <laughs> you kind of did tell us. About I'm gonna- cloaks. I'm going to slide into John's DMs for a moment, even though he's fucking offline, you piece of shit. I- I- the- the cloak that Jamie bought, the normal cloak, is like a white cloak with like a gold little like spiral on it like a small like a little gold spiral in the middle um actually the gold the the cloak that you got is actually a kind of regal purple cloak oh cool awesome i like that better than white and as you get it originally it just looks like this purple cloak but as it's placed in your hands it slowly has this sort of personal embroidery on it I, I go, I, I keep moving towards them, and I'm like, whoa. I like how we all get distracted by cloaks. Don't get me wrong. Hey, look, nice. dude, this, this, this looks cool, okay? But I was here first, and I'm wondering what the price for that invisibility one. <laughs> did you take out 10,000 gold for... Yeah, I did. So I have 11,000. Yeah. <laughs> And this is a little on the pricey end, and it's going course. to be 15,000 gold pieces. Oh, of course it is. I don't have enough Wait, to... how much are you short? We should Four. have went with money. 4,000. 4,000 4, short, and I, and I gave you my health potion, by the way. So you owe me. <laughs> I only have like 1,000 some gold on me. Wow, what the world's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> or no, wait. I haven't been carrying much. <laughs> what can I say? Well, that's having. Well, that's happening. Can I like talk to this chick and kind of just like turn oh. up the charm to yeah, an well, eleven? Well, you and, guys like, are doing that. You're gonna need to roll a persuasion check to turn your charm up to an eleven. All right. Well, okay. Okay. Plus nothing. So roll one d twenty. Darn, 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 darn. She's unimpressed. Rip. <laughs> Rip. Well, I, okay. I'm just going to keep wearing this cloak then, I guess. Oh, until so I get, what do you uh, want? I just, um, I kind of... She's an elf, so I have to look up at her. I, I look up at her and I, I just ask, do you happen to know anything about what transpired last night? Actually, I... She looks around and goes, I kind of do. Um, you see, I was about to head to my stall when I saw the rather large dwarf in question. Get suplexed? 
he was in the middle of a disagreement with somebody, though it sounded like that he was insulting somebody to the point where I blinked for a moment, and the next thing I knew, the man was still standing, and that dwarf was on the ground, and his head was gone. It was so Octane. I swear to God. No one does a suplex that fast. Well, I kind of just, kind of just look up her, look up at her, and I say, uh, "Uh, well, thank you." And then I kind of look at her and say, "What, what do you sell, perhaps?" Oh, mainly I just sell game and um, various produce. You see, by trade, I'm a hunter. I hunt during the night, and then I bring all my. And then she shows you the vast amount of barhun. Yes. Roll you a nature a menu. check. You, no, you, you no. You see a menu, and one of the things that is on there is haggis. Oh. And the way that I do dwarves is they are essentially Scotsmen. Yes. You see haggis. And I'm just like, I have to try your haggis. Um, come back in a short little bit, and I'll be sure to make you the best haggis you have ever had. And but like before I leave, I just kind of I look it up. I look up there and I say, I I assume the Elven kingdoms are like, are they are they they're like, aren't they are they somewhere else? Are they like not on this piece of land we're on? Well, it's kind of like the same with the real a true dwarven kingdom. No kingdom is truly with each other. Mm. The only kingdom that you could consider being on the exact same land, the reason why people call it kingdoms is it's what it's predominantly ruled by, or what their society has the most of. So the Elven Kingdom has the most elves, the Dwarven Kingdom has the most dwarves, the Orcish Kingdom, Drev, you get the point. Yeah. But is it like far from here, or is it like? Oh, step away. That's what she takes. She takes a moment to think about, it and she goes, "You know, truly, I've never actually seen home. My what? my own homeland, as it were. Why? Why not go there then? What? Why stay here? Well, have you ever had a job that has kept you to one area because that's all you've known? And you're afraid of venturing out or going back home only to find that because you were born in a different area that you would be exiled? I believe I've had the same experience, but not same circumstance. I have been exiled, and I have been stuck in one place. Well, I'm just afraid of returning home and not being welcomed by my people in terms of... I wish to create a culinary genius to help bring one of the ways to help bring the world together. Like bring human cuisine over to the orcs or bring dwarven cuisine over to the elves to help show the world that our taste buds are something that we should take into factor when we speak about things. What the fuck is going on? I don't even know what's going on anymore, dude. What well, I, 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 I look at her and I'm kind of like, that is a very noble task which you have set before, which you have set yourself, which you, which you have set before yourself. I hope, did I say that right? <laughs> is is sure. that grammatically correct? Yeah. I, I hope, I hope you achieve your goal. Roll a persuasion check again. God, this is be interesting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she gives you a quick peck on the forehead, and then she goes, tell you what, in a bit, you're going to get to try my haggis for free on the house. I I smile open her eyes. I look forward to it, and I walk over uh, to the rest of the group. 
Oh, someone's getting haggis. <laughs> yes, everyone. My wares are all magical except for that box there. And then it's just like... He shows everyone this box that's just filled with stuff that doesn't look like it's been properly um, not maintained, but like the clothes aren't folded unlike all of his other magic stuff, which is folded like somebody with OCD. Completely understandable at that point. I just instantly rummage through it and like toss it in. <laughs> he kills you. <laughs> no, okay. Oh, I should probably add that purple cloak to my uh, inventory. Congratulations, you have a cloak. Oh, also, I want to roll a history check on that. Yeah, on a cloak? On the mirror, on the uh, picture that's on the cloak. Alright, roll it. Alright. I cast guidance. Roll your d4 first. <laughs> Can't have enough guidance. Okay, you get to add a plus two onto that. Rip. Wow. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna put this into words everyone's gonna understand. <laughs> <laughs> a moment you go brain dead while looking at it because it's just so imaginative that the only words for the next couple of seconds you can put out are <laughs> and we look at you and we're like what the fuck uh, I, 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 I just and I put it around my neck and just ignore it the moment you put it around your neck you, you kind of like the moment you realizes what happened but you were just looking at something that you couldn't, you you just couldn't recall anything. But it feels so right to wear. <laughs> it's you wear it, and all of that kind of goes away, and you're just like, I this cloak is my best friend. This oh, God, this, see, this this is mine now. This is my cloak, and no one else can have it. This is mine. No. You sure? Good. D John. Sounds cursed. John. Maybe just oh, naturally feels like... Oh, by the way, it strangles like. you. Oh, thanks. Thanks, John. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm happy, dude. I'm the fucking par uh, party... Roll defender. constitution check, see if you live. <laughs> <laughs> I can't uh, do that. My character loves to group. This is what my else? character for. I'm so, is there anything else that I can do for any of you? Any rings, perhaps? I gotta say thanks for the cloak, and I walk over to the... the wow, the it is all business with you. Holy fuck shit. Hold on, I have a question. Well, What's those... your question, good sir, while I am looking through this book? So whenever I do combat now, can I have, like, two characters at once on the screen? Um, no. What? It, read the DM that I sent you. No, I know that, but like, can I control two of them? Like, I can control. No, them. it follows. It essentially it follows you wherever you are, but it's not really there. I don't know. I just think it'd be cool if I was able to control two of them at once. <laughs> she was so happy. No, sorry, I don't seem to have any rings right now. Okay. It looks like you're doing better for yourself instead of just selling potions all the time. I mean, I still sell potions, but I mean, I can't exactly tell the guards that, but <laughs> <laughs> I understand that for sure. I don't want to know that for sure. I mean, I been like, where do you? S this has guy been poisoned over there. It's potion or what? Do you know anything about it? Oh, I have no idea. I just sell health potions, you know, that sort of thing. <laughs> You can't tell if an undead is lying. He doesn't have any facial expressions. Everybody just looks at him and is just like, Did you kill this man? No. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that sounds just like you. And the guards are just kind of going, 
We can't tell if you're lying or telling the truth. I'm telling the truth. What are you talking about? You win this time, motherfucker. Oh, I wish I had right, the other cheaper prices again, but oh well. <laughs> Change your ways. <laughs> See you around, Mr. Not a Necromancer. <laughs> Not okay. necromancer, thank you very much. I am a gentleman and a scholar, after all, and he kind of pretends to, like, do a batai. Okay, whatever you say, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I hope you die in a fire, and I will be the one who sets the fire underneath you, you giant piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, 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 you literally just got fucking burned. I know, yeah. it's great. <laughs> and it's just kind of like he has no facial expressions, but it's just kind of he just people know. can tell that if he could squint, he is squinting. <laughs> I apologize. I, I did like what I did. Shh, I did like. Shh, 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 it's okay. And he puts his frozen finger over your mouth, and Maxis, you feel this giant chill go down your spine as he touches you, as you can feel unholy energies go through your body. <laughs> John backs off. <laughs> it's I okay, ain't that. One. In time, you will understand. When you live forever, everyone is a piece of shit. <laughs> I cast magic, I cast guiding bolt and launch it. I don't, no, don't. I don't. I, no, I don't. <laughs> I start a fight in the middle of the square. <laughs> no, I'm not John. Hey, man, I'm happy. Happy. Uh, I, I, I'm not looking forward to a fight, and he's just smiling as he's stabbing people. Yeah. Um, Barhun, what's your passive perception? Uh, fifteen. Congratulations, you figured something out when you get to that area. What did I figure out? I'm being stabbed. <laughs> Not yet. Yes, oh, no. the guards tag team you. Congratulations, you're dead. I've died a lot this, this session. No, 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 no. You are outright dead. Okay, well, I guess I'm... I'm kidding. You no, can no, kind of kind see, of you can kind of see, like, um, a lot of footprints, a small set and a large set, and then you see a set of footprints head down this way. I look at our card, I'm just like, I found tracks. So, you want me to follow them then, I guess? I suggest I suggest we I, me and you can follow him and Jamie and at the same time both you and Alucard can find a note inside of this stall. Well, I pick up the note and open it up and look at it with Alucard. Um, the note says, "If you truly value the life of your friend," and it's in really weird writing. Oh, it's, 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 it's like that uneducated handwriting again. That uneducated handwriting. If you truly value the life of your friends in the market, as well as a little girl's life, you will meet me yeah. at the docks tomorrow night. Why well, happens to Banny's the killer? Why well, happens to Banny's the killer? Hold on, I'll be back. That other question? Hmm. I'm not gonna answer it. Tomorrow night. Interesting. Yeah. Well, I wonder if it's already tomorrow and night, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was put there this morning after the murder of Bomb Tomadil. So it's tomorrow then. Yeah. So can we loot Bomb Tomadil? He's probably already been looted by these guys. Uh, you sure can. Okay. You find... Oh. That's what I was looting. 
Really looting a corpse? <laughs> yeah, dude, I'm doing it. I'm doing it with a smile on my face. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll be like, I'll be like the guard, but I guess, hey, you know, the guy is like looting evidence. <laughs> Heck. Now, what I by the way, by the way, Jamie's looting the corpse. <laughs> Can I just like? I wish, I wish I could just like force push him, or, for, force push him or something. So just desecrating the body. Well, no, I say I, I kind of look mean, at our card, and I'm kind of like, we should probably follow these tracks. Obviously, I got some really good because Dal shut right the fuck up. After, uh, but, uh, said. You but, uh, find a flask. Oh. I I walk over to Jamie and I just take the flask out of his hands. Out of her hand. Because I know it's probably really good dwarven ale. Well, the letter said tomorrow. And? Not tomorrow. Yeah. Not today. Not oh, today. and. We got more. You find a stone book called the Manual of Bodily Health. A stone book. Well, yep. Duh, dwarves dealt with stone. Yeah, I know that, but. Jeez. And a muffin. Yes! The freaking muffins. I swear <laughs> to God. He, he now has two muffins, by the way. <laughs> Do these muffins do something? Is it like how to defeat the final boss? Oh, you gotta collect all these muffins. <laughs> these muffins are special artifacts. Nope, nope, you guys are just cursed to find muffins. <laughs> Great. Okay, it's called the Stone Book of what? Bodily Health. Help. Bodily? That's it. Bodily, Bodily Health. Remember that book you had on him before that. He was reading it. Yeah, he was reading it. Can we do a history check on the book? Somebody could do a history check on the book. Well, I, I cast. What? Wait. It, I guess it's a. Oh wait. No. Do I have? Oh wait. No, I don't. I don't have. I don't have advantage. In. Well, I guess if we're well, doing this. Well, guys are rolling. I'll be back in a moment. Let's I'll cast. Out. Who's gonna roll? I'm gonna cast guidance on whoever's gonna roll, and I guess since we're all looking at it, we're gonna give aid, to. I'm not though, unless you want me to help you. Well, no, I'm. It, I'm gonna your... roll. I'm gonna roll. Okay, I probably so... have dive stat in it. It's Which intelligence. One is it is? It's intelligence. I'll be next to burn. You two handle it. So it's one d twenty plus one. So there you go. Oh, let me, let me, let me. Slash roll. One d four. All right. So add plus five to your. So I get six. No, no. Sorry, plus four. It's no. You add plus four onto your plus one. Okay, so it's five. And you roll twice since I'm aiding you in it. <laughs> roll again. You can only get better. Watch it, like five. Fail. Get it. Gets a twenty-five. Nope. Nope. Okay, eighteen. Hmm. I got a history check. <laughs> My intelligence is all plus two, by the way. All twos. Dal's, I feel like Dal's getting mad at the fact that I keep. God, I keep doing guidance since it's a cantrip, and I can do it as many times as I want. Oh, I thought. By the way, uh, I, when I when I level up next time, I can do cantrips too. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I can do. I can pick two. So, um, what cantrips can you do? I don't know. I can just look at them to look at the. I can just only pick. I pick. I I have magic hand by default. I have gu I have guidance, sacred flame, and thaumaturgy, but it's probably different from yours. Yeah, I have. I know. I have thick wizard spells. So. You have wizard spells. Oh, okay. So I have magic hand by default. Yeah. I can't choose anything else, uh, but then I could choose other ones. There's some pretty good ones in there. Yeah, there probably are. Yeah. I mean, sacred flame is literally I cast it, and the person has to make a, a dexterity save. Of like fifteen, they have to do better than a fifteen, or else they take the, or else they take damage. And I also get some level one spells too, but they're only nice. like illusion and I believe enchantment too. Oh, enchantment! That might be useful. Uh, 
I would look at the wizard spells again. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but no, that's why I put away. That's why I put away my. Uh, that's why I upgraded my stuff because I can cast Sacred Flame and Guiding Bolt and all that. So I should. Right, who rolled? Uh, Jamie did, and I gave him guidance, and he rolled with advantage since I was helping him. I got eighteen, I think. Yeah. And this was a knowledge, or sorry, a history. History. On. The book. book. Um, this book, it's kind of one of a kind. Um, if you spend a day, well, not a day, actually, two full days reading this book. I get, I got three days off, boys. You don't have to take. You don't have to read it all at the same time. But whenever you get the chance to, um, through reading it, you gain additional bonuses to your uh, constitution. And this is kind of like a closely guarded secret in the Dwarven Kingdoms. Only nobility knows about it. Since I'm aiding him, do I do I do I understand this too, or is he the only one who gets this? Unless he tells you. All right. I'm gonna give him the book. Gonna get, okay. <laughs> you have you now have the book of bodily health. Book of bodily health. All right. Just because he's a dwarf. And this is fucking kind, his book. That's legit. Oh, um, I, I also take a swig of the flat. What are you thinking about? What's in it? Mm -hmm. Okay, take a swig. Well, I think he's gonna need those two days off more than me, so. <clears throat> How big of a swig do you take? It's like just like a tasting swig. It's like, what? what it's not like, a, oh, I'm just going to get drunk on the spot. It's like a small swig. This is the best tasting ale you have ever had. I, I, I kind of look surprised, but then, like, doesn't surprise me, honestly. He was royalty, so I mean... But what I want you to do right now is I want you to do slash roll... 1d3. Oh, now roll me a wisdom saving throw. Oh, Plus 5, alright. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that drunk. <laughs> That's a little high a number there. <laughs> it's almost a perfect. But Twenty-five would have been perfect. Everything so that you want to insult about the closest person to you <laughs> kind of bubbles up for a moment, but then it slowly subsides when you realize, no, it's a friend, and I will never insult my friends in such a way. They have always been helpful to me. Yada yada yada. Oh, so Especially it's a drink of insulting. Book. I just kind of look at Jamie, I'm just kind of like, so this is what he used to insult people with. And just but give like a slight <laughs> chuckle. At the same time, you can feel you can feel that after you took the swig, it was lighter. That the um, flask was lighter. But so now it's as heavy as you originally got it. Oh, so it oddly feels. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. You have the refilling flasks. Sorry, the refilling flask of insults. Dude, oh fighting a fighting a boss. <laughs> Take a swig. Your brother was a whore. All right, All right oh. listen here, you knife-eared piece of shit. <laughs> All right, listen here, you bipedaled monstrosity. Bipedal, Jesus. Christ, dude, this is this this is shaping up to be a nice good day. 
And I, just, I give like a slight chuckle as I, as I like just tuck it, tuck it down, like in my pants and stuff. I don't know. I I don't think I have any armor, so I just kind of like stick it underneath a plate you have, armor. Yeah, you, you have a backpack. Though, oh right? yeah, I put it in my backpack. Yes, and yes, burn. This isn't in the book because I find it more fun to make my own shit. <laughs> AKA fuck you. <laughs> Hey, no, I've always that. find it fun. I've always found it fun to make magical items or cursed items because I know a lot of people have read the book and they know the magical items back and f uh, back in front. So when I toss a magical item item at them and they've read the book back in front and they think that the rule books are law and they call me out on my bullshit and the first words I say, "I'm sorry, who's the DM here?" Yeah, your game. Yeah, Speaking right. of creating new bullshit, Dal, can you make uh, new totems for me? Whenever that comes up? You have to collect them, though. Parts. No, I know, but I want him to make something original. Remind me on... Uh, remind me uh, Wednesday next week. Alright. Um, it's just my... I want to do... I would love to do it this weekend. Just, um, I have a couple... Of things to do this weekend that's going to keep me occupied, and I'll probably forget by Monday. Okay. Yeah, I'll remind so, you Wednesday. Yeah, Wednesday gives me um, Wednesday before or after session, or even Thursday to work on it because I have Thursday freeze. Alright. I don't know how many you want to make, though. Or I'll, watch, or, I'll watch, or I'll watch this video, and I will ensure to remind myself by it. Yeah, true. Trip. Okay, so um, I walk over to the double A team, and I hand them a note. But I also say, I think he just wants us to come. I don't think, I feel like if there are extra surprises, something bad could happen. But I'm no notifying you of what is about of what is transpiring tomorrow night. Hmm. How about this, my little friend? Yes. If what? we are able to make it and are not pulled out for something of greater importance, we will attempt to back you up as best as we can. If you do, stay to the shadows until shit starts to hit the fan. How will we know if this shit has hit the fan? I will coming. shout... I will just shout now. Now that could be a hundred different things. I you will know when I say. How about it you just do the loud. special whistle? Do the special whistle. Or oh, actually, no, he's right. I'll just do. I'll whistle. I'll do. It'll sound. It'll sound like a blue jay. <laughs> I swear to God, Dal, if you have a blue jay, freaking make a noise. Oh, we're doing this. Oh, we're I'm, wondering, night. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna shh, I'm gonna actually take a quick peek see if I actually find that because now Nope. No, no. Um I lost actually I need to re go through because um originally roll twenty was a part of SoundCloud. Hmm. And SoundCloud got, uh, sorry, Roll20 got worried that a lot of the songs that they were using might get hit with copyright. Mm hmm So, I have no songs now. Oh, Rip. Pain. Because um, they broke off with SoundCloud and everything, so now I have to search for songs again. But anyways, um, they do agree, and they state that they're going to keep, they're going, uh, that they're going to attempt to keep the body here for another hour, while trying to keep the citizens at bay at the exact same time, thus for being the only two guards, but they're kind of like the most respected guards so, because they're always so polite to people even though one of them's like PUNY HUMAN! <laughs> Not really a human, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Well, to him, but to them you are, so. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. I just kind of like nod. Surely, and... human, I know who you are. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> But they um they appreciate everything that you've done so far and everything, and they want to make sure that you guys get a chance to look around once more. Uh, so I guess we all roll investigation checks of the area. Have we talked to her yet? Yeah, I've talked to her. I talked. She she was the one who said he was having an do argument. You do a roll investigation check. Swiftly, do that. We should all just roll. We should all just roll. Is it a one d twenty? Plus whatever your modifier is. For uh, for uh, the uh, just like of like the area around. You mean like what our what our uh investigation number is? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Everyone sure. roll an investigation check. Okay. Well, I eat this potato wedge. Wow, I fucked shit. <laughs> you find nothing. I'm bad at rolling today. What the hell happened to zero? God damn it! Oh, there you are. Oh wow. Good job. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna go with the 15 first. Oh, nice, Jamie. Jamie. That's what I do. Um, Barton, besides the uh, footprints, yeah, you do notice that something in Artesia's statement. Didn't seem right. How so? It's just um, you know when, whenever like your best friend lies to you, yeah, and you know that they're lying to you, but you're just kind of passing it off. That's what's kind of happening. Um, Jamie, something seems a little off about the story that Barhun told you about Artesia saying oh, that really? she heard a disagreement and that she only blinked and saw that bomb was dead. Oh. Go investigate her. I I I walk over to her. Not and I'm not gonna is this what I'm getting with my 20 that I just rolled? That's what you're getting with your 20, yeah. You're getting the same thing I'm getting. You're getting the same thing, but you've kind of solidified it. Oh, okay. I, I'm not walking over to, to ask about it first. I'm asking to see if that, that quote, quote, delicious uh, ha ha haggis? Haggis. Haggis is, is ready. The haggis is ready, and she actually hands it to you. And she gets you, like, a it. small little portable ta table for you to sit down and eat it. Oh, God. I, I, I sit down and try it. Poison. Um, Roll me a constitution check. I'm resistant to poison. Oh. Because I'm a dwarf. Mm. Not immune resistant. That just means I roll at disadvantage. Yeah, I know. Barhun? Yeah. This is the single greatest haggis you have ever had. It has put haggis that your mother has made for you to shame. It has put your family recipe to shame. I, I, I like, I, I take the first bite and I, it, the spoon just, like, drops into the you bowl. You literally have a foodgasm in the middle of a marketplace. I, I was just like, you have destroyed my world. This is the single-handedly oh best haggis I have ever tasted. It was better than my mother's, rest her soul. How? She winks at you and says, It's a secret, and the only way I'm going to tell my secret is if somebody puts a ring on this finger. Ooh. Ooh. Do you really want to know, Varhoon? I just kind of, like, lay back in the seat and, like, put my feet up on the portable table 
And just kind of like, that man... Can we get a ring? Extremely lucky. Can we get a ring? I'll try and marry her. <laughs> you know, I feel like it would be funnier if a dwarf married an elf. Yeah, because you have, a, you have an interesting child. What? I don't know. Mm. <laughs> what, you um, don't want things me? have, um, throughout, like, the hour... Oh, sorry, 20 minutes that Barhun took to eat the entire thing of haggis it's just to savor every fucking bite. She kind of looks around and goes, I'm uh, sorry, sir. I might need to begin leaving now if um, this place is just going to be closed off to the public. I have no reason to be here. I kind of uh, kind of stand up. I stand up and I uh, I give her back the bowl and I, like sit back. I, I like fix the table. And I kind of, I kind of look up at her and say, uh, "Thank you for the delicious haggis." And it was good to meet you. Oh, it's my pleasure, sir. And then she um, begins packing up her stall, everything in her stall, with within like a couple of bloody bags, and then leaps. Should ask for her phone number. I was. <laughs> Like, no, like, as she's leaving, I kind of just, like, I kind of just toss her, I toss her the room number. Screw it. I toss her my room number in the, in the tavern. Roll me a persuasion check at advantage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to cast guidance. Be I, I don't think I can cast guidance and then toss the room. No. You're already at advantage though, so you can roll twice. Come on. I didn't skip the oh. additional plus one d four. Yeah, but I it, I don't think I could cast guidance on myself and then charm. That um, doesn't, because doesn't Maxis see. and Jamie aren't paying attention to this, Alucard and Barhun, you can see her pick up the key and put it in her bra. <laughs> Score. I hope she doesn't go, go on and kill you. Listen, I, I, I like look over him as he says this and listen, bro. I can handle myself and you'll be up and I know it. <laughs> okay, I just remembered that you guys did an investigation thing and uh, It's fine. Hey, hey, hey. I, I, I put like my, my hand on his elbow. I'm just kind of like, I'll get the information better. I see, I see. And plus, route. she's pretty good looking, am I right? <laughs> uh, yeah, totally, 100%. <laughs> Thanks, I'm glad I have your support in this Alucard. Uh-huh. Okay. So I, I walk back over to the group. I guess we're gonna have to get, uh, move out since, uh... Yeah, I guess we move back to the, I guess, since, I kinda like, look at both of them, and I'm just kinda like, are we done here? I like, I look at... I look at Alucard and I just like I'm like, are we done? And I look at the others and I'm like, are we done here? Well, we, we have good? to go over this direction in like you know tomorrow. So, yeah, I guess yeah. <laughs> we have to go to the docks tomorrow. So we might as well prepare. Well, yeah, like I'm gonna go and uh, maybe your weapon's done. Hopefully, maybe my weapon is done. Yeah, so that, that way I can get my weapon game. to get a mine a plus one as well. <laughs> <laughs> just get a <it> plus one. <laughs> You know, it's like take them overnight to do it. All right. Well, I guess we walk off back to the tavern. Why not? Me with a stupid grin on my face and a stomach. Are you guys? Full of really is good everyone haggis. returning to let to the laughing skull? I'm returning. I'm returning. Yeah. Maxis. I, I should. Yeah. I guess we should. Jamie. Hold on. We can stay. <laughs> There's nothing really else to do. The one guy sells expensive stuff, and the long chick left. So. Can we? So we can't go any further. I mean, well, we, we have, have a map. We, we are. We already know where we're supposed to go. 
tomorrow night. Yeah. Tomorrow night docks. There you go. Tomorrow night. Tonight we. Pre today, tonight, and tomorrow we prepare. Tonight and tomorrow during the day, you guys can prepare. Flames is not there. But once you guys return, and I'm going to move you guys to the frontier because A, I was lazy, and B, dealing with another new map for the future that I'm not done yet. Oh, okay. Oh, man. All right. Um, you guys return, and he goes to the... Yeah, aren't you gonna go and check and say on your weapon men or anything? Alucard, when you go in, when you go inside, um, the bell dings, and you instead of hearing like, before you went in, <gasps> sorry, you hear the sound of hammers on hammer on metal, like something is something awesome is going on downstairs, and he okay. immediately runs up with a with um, kind of like a smithing hammer and goggles and a face mask on and he goes, ah yes, what can I do for you my friend? Uh, well I wanted to improve this weapon, the glaives, you know because fighting tomorrow probably. Yeah, you, you want them improved again? Hey, you know me. I mean improved and what else you want to add to them I guess I don't know. I have <clears throat> I'm willing to spend like Maybe five thousand, I guess. <laughs> uh, five thousand? That's a good question. What can I do? <laughs> and he's looking through. He begins looking through some of his. Um... So it's just like a two thousand five hundred per blade, you know, that sort of thing. Uh, you want to do each one two thousand five hundred per blade? Um, let's see. Well, at least for. A thousand each, I would be able to. Uh, yes, a thousand each, I would be able to increase them by. An, I would be able to increase their magical properties uh, by an additional one, and at the same time, I might be able to do something a little better. And it would be ready for the morning. I just need to. And he's. Kind of searching through this um, book of various different things. Yeah. Book Sorry, of not memes. Book of memes. <laughs> I, I walk into the. I go to the blacksmith as well. I could. I could make it so that way the blade has a permanent file of poison inside of it. Oh, okay. Oh. That might help me a lot. <laughs> so I guess every time you attack, the, the creature would have to make a constitution But save. here's the problem. I can only do it to one of them. Oh, okay. Do, do it on your main hand, not your off Yeah, hand. I'll do it on my main hand then. Hand down. <laughs> Abe and nods his head and goes, I should have it ready by tomorrow evening. Okay. And also, I, I walk up, I walk up. By the way, him. I also noticed that you, did you sell that weapon I gave you? Oh, uh, yes. In the contract? Um, there was a, uh, there was a, I believe that it was a dragonborn that's a friend of yours came in and bought it shortly after, and he <laughs> hands you 20 gold pieces. Okay. <laughs> After this has occurred, I, I look at I look at the box like my head is like barely peeking over the counter and just kind of like, how goes the work on the hammer? Well, how, like I thought, uh, people came into my shop asking for things to be done, but I still have it should have it to be done tonight if you wish. Um, when it's done, I shall have it given to um, uh, Master Bones inside of the tavern. I I I I'm I start walking out and I just I'm just gonna like Pelor Pelor guide you. He's my deity, by the way. Ah, Pelor, a very good friend. Praise the sun, motherfucker. 
<laughs> uh, indeed, praise the sun. I do the pose as I walk out. Thank you. Are we wrapping up? Or are we gonna sleep? Well, I wanna, today? I wanna ask him if I can. Uh, how long is we, how long have we been doing this session? Not that long. It's only been like an hour, hasn't it? It's been um, almost two hours, actually. Almost two, two hours? hours. Yeah. Oh, dude, um, we have like another hour. I wanna, um, I wanna require to see if I can get my special sword upgraded. Oh, look, I, it's our good buddy Octane what's back. Your, what's your special sword? The sword of luck and pluck. You cannot get that upgraded. Uh, well, I have a regular long sword I can get upgraded. What? What's, dude? Dal said he would. He would literally destroy you if you don't use luck and pluck. I used. Why can't you just get your armor improved? Well, get your armor improved yeah, or something, dude. That would be smart to get my armor. Get an AC of twenty-one, like me, bro. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll weigh my options. I ask him, "What? How can you? What would be the best course of action for upgrades?" Of course, you don't have much money, so... He kind of looks at you and goes, Come on, hand me your sword! Hand me your sword! Alright, I hand him the sword. He kind of looks at it and he's inspecting it and goes, Oh, this is a very, very nice sword. There's nothing I can do to this sword. The only person who could increase this sword is its either original maker or a very, very, very powerful wizard. <laughs> but what I could do instead, if you don't mind wearing some regular clothes, is overnight I could I could either upgrade your armor mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. or I could make you a new set of armor. <gasps> Ooh, I want to hear what's the details on this new set of armor. You should ask for you price see? value first, though. You add for add. I can take out. I can go to the ship and take out gold and. No, because I haven't fully paid ten thousand. So you would have, you'd have to take it out of the silver. Sure. Recently, I have come into adamantium ores, and I have been. Wanting to make some armor out of it. Ah. You lucky son. I will. I will. That sounds like a great idea. Before before I, you I say would... anything, zero. Before you say anything, uh, I do have that giant's armor, by the way. Yeah, you do. do you remember that? Oh the... yeah, which we haven't got spilled. Adjusted the size yet? Yeah. We haven't got investigated either. We don't know what it does. Well, or we can get it adjusted hurt. the size. Yeah. I think I should still get the armor anyway. Even though you have a thousand gold. Well, adamantium armor in D and D fifth edition in a suit of uh, a, this suit of armor is reinforced with adamantium, one of the hardest substances in existence. While you are wearing it, any critical hit against you becomes a normal hit. <laughs> that would help me greatly. <laughs> Um, what about the pricing Do it. for this set of animantium armor? Um, he's kind of looking at it, and he's kind of, he kind of goes, and he begins um, pulling out an albicus. And he goes, it's going to be pretty pricey. I am not going to sugarcoat it. It wow. will be 7,000 gold pieces. Gold? Gold. I can manage that. I'd have to go to my ship and fit, uh, go to the coffers. I have 4,000 gold on me. Yeah, but aren't you... I Can I not just... I you already withdraw. gave it to me. Oh, yeah, yeah so I only have 1,000 on me. Yeah. So that's... No, we've literally paid everything I've taken out, so you can go and get it. All right. I will... Alright, I will be right back. Uh, tell me what. Um, due, due to your friends paying me off full. And this will be the first time that I'm ever doing with uh, doing this. Come to me in the morning. If I don't have it fit to your size and stature, I will fix it to you. Pro bono, and you can pay me once it's perfect. Okay. This is going to be a test of my skills. 
Jones. And listen, if you do an amazing job, don't you dare say you will tip him. I swear to God. What? We can't just go pissing away this gold. You understand that if we if we're on now the remember. He also has some more fun. Three hundred thousand gold pieces. Every single time you take, every single time anybody takes it out. Yes. Pulls away from that price. Yeah. True. So there's so only there's like... two thousand eight hundred left. No, t sorry, twenty two hundred eighty thousand left. Yeah. Yeah. And the gold. We haven't touched silver or copper yet. I understand that. And <laughs> frankly, I already have a thousand gold, so I can tip for my own gold if I wanted to tip. Just swear to God, fucking melt it. Swear to God. Did you not know? If, if your right, no, it's fine. Does do a it. really good do it. Do job. It. All right, go back into action. character and do it. Go back into character and do it. All right. If you, if I see this armor and it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen in my life, I'll give you a little extra. He looks around and goes, eh, "Tell you what. At first, if it's the most amazing thing ever, I'll quickly invite a friend of mine over." And I will make that extra worth it. Alrighty. Alright. I'll hold you up to it. And he has some work to do, though. It's the. Uh, work, 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 work. My friends have also stopped by, and you have your work cut out for you. So. Yes, well, it's not as difficult as your your uh, little dwarven friend who worships Paylor. Well. I have to you can like hear off in the distance me shout praise the sun. I give you a lot of credit for the work you've been doing in such this so, this short amount of time. It's highly appreciated. Yeah, well, it's not a short amount of time. Let's be. Well, I think I should be getting towards my comrades now. I'll bid you adieu, <coughs> and I'll. Grateful to see you tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. Praise the sun. sun. <laughs> Jolly cooperation. Um, we had a fun fact. I had a paladin in this campaign who played as Solaire the entire time, and every single time he got into combat, the first thing he did as a free action was a praise the sun pose, <laughs> and then immediately looked at the closest enemy to him, and the first words out of his mouth were... I charge. I charge. Why is the song? As I as I leave, I say I bid you adieu. All right. So, I see Octane, and I instantly go over to him, and just um, look at him questioningly with with my eyes. Every, like everyone, when you all see Octane, the dudes are kind of behind him. I guess they're drawing the powers like shadows. Hey, uh, Octane. He's kind of gotten a... He's gotten a bottle of... Not wine. Not ale. He's got an entire bottle of whiskey finished. Oh, my. I, I see this, and I look at him, and, like... There's, like... Like, a, like my eyes are, like, water, kind of watery as I look at him. Hey, uh, Octane. Yes. This letter is for you, and I guarantee I have not opened this. If I was that back in my old job, I probably would have, but you know me. <laughs> yes, I appreciate that you did not open a letter specifically yeah. meant for me, and it's greatly appreciated nonetheless. Thank you. And he opens the letter and he reads it. And he closes it instantly. Oh God, this is not. Saying this, I look, I like, I, I look at him, but I don't like make any motion. And then I'm just kind of like, "Did you find her?" Every lead that I could have found has led to naught. As he says this, I kind of just like sink down on my knees and put my hand, my hand, my head in my hands. But there is still hope. 
Hey, uh, do you not realize that that murderer guy, you know, he found the trail and he got the letter and he said that meet him at the docks? No, yes, that sort that, of thing? I mean, it, like, it's, he could have taken her. Yes, maybe. I understand he could have taken her, but I still had hope, <laughs> Octane. Because for all we know, Octane could have found her, found him, in between that note and now. Okay, just saying. So we'll see him tomorrow night, I guess, so, yeah, yeah and Octane. I, I, so I, hand night. Note, I hand night. the note over to Octane. <laughs> he reads the note and he goes, Well, it seems that the four of you have figured out what you all should be doing. And then I just kind of stand up and I'm like, It also seems there may be a war soon between the dwarves and the humans. <sighs> yes, it was a situation that I... Th and he stops talking for a moment. I thought an old friend of mine had dealt with a long time ago, but it seems that he didn't do as well as a job as he thought he did. Hmm. Do you know who killed Bomb? <sighs> there used to be an old... There used to be legends of an old warrior who was great at doing what some people used to call wrestling. Oh my God. It's John Cena. Named Chugwater. Okay. History check. <laughs> you can do the history check, actually. All right. Well, and we can um, assist since we're here. Okay, well, I can do a history check as well if you want me to. I'd cast guidance. Anybody who wants to do a check can do a check. Whoever has the best modifier should do the initial check. So I have one. I've been doing really good rolls tonight. One. Okay. Gosh. Guys. You got a 22. <laughs> I'm just going to try anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to well, like you that. You guys can still try anyways to see if... It how it checks goes is you don't go with the highest bidder unless they are willing to share the information. If they're not willing to share the information, then it's whoever well, rolls it is the one that rolls it. Me and Alcard knows know what's up. <laughs> Jamie doesn't well, I mean, know anything. I'm pretty sure the information is going to be shared, right? Yeah, we're going to share it. But oh, you know what kind of makes sense? Jamie's a dragon. He probably wouldn't know much about human wrestlers. Um, and, uh, he sighs really for a moment as the information that you guys can recall from um, the great and powerful Gilbert Chugwater is this warrior who um, assisted the ba a bastard son, his bastard daughter, and a bunch of other misfits as well as the Empress of the Orc Kingdom to defeat something <coughs> called the Shadow King. A name that should never be said except for the true person who defeated the beast. Mm. And um, I kind of actually, if you ever state the name, the name, um, it, it's been said in fairy tales that the name has scared children and Alucard you're even afraid of this name yeah, even though I worship the god of really bad god <laughs> even even though you were though this this is kind of like um, I worship the evil god it's great <laughs> e even if you worship the evil god this is a god <sighs> that even the evil gods go damn <laughs> You cray cray. Did he RKO him? Did he RKO him to defeat him? <laughs> or did he what? did he suplex him? I want to know this. I, I I I rolled a twenty-two. Dal, tell me how he defeated him. Who defeated who? How how the wrestler defeated the Shadow King? It wasn't the wrestler. He didn't do the final blow. The wrestler wasn't the one who defeated the final blow. In fact, um, was it the okay? story the the story of the fight? of the Shadow King was almost wiped from, not wiped from existence, but the story was stated that a group of individuals were the ones who fought to the de uh, almost to the death. 
to the dead. <coughs> With an elven bastard child. Ooh. Was supposedly, uh, was, like, a lot of people are saying that, um, the elven bastard daughter was the only person who survived. Some say that everyone survived, blah, blah, blah. But no one can recount the tale to a T. And every single tale is different no ma uh, wherever you go. So, like, seeing, knowing that this guy helps defeat this, the, it, I just kind of look quizzically at Octane and say, why murder? Why go to murdering people? That makes no sense. He's lazy. That's what's up. No. Well, <laughs> there's an old saying in some areas, you either die a hero or live long enough for yourself to become a villain. That's a Dark Knight, uh... Yeah, that's a Dark Knight joke right there. <laughs> it seems that whoever has been going about this wishes to either attempt to fight the champion Gilbert Chugwater or is attempting to redeem himself. Hmm. By taking out random people. Interesting. <laughs> By taking Looks out... Looks like we know who I'm fighting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I kind of just like look at the rest of the group and just... Seems we have our work cut out for us tomorrow. Yeah, it looks like it. Uh, Let's just hope all know. of our weapons are ready. And nothing well, goes astray. We also have to make sure... Our... Though, Mr. Barhoon, it seems that you're... Not exactly sharing any information with your friends. Yeah. Oh, I just, I tell them, I tell them, I tell them what I figured out. I didn't say anything. Say it! I, uh, it's, he's a, he's, whatever, I don't remember his name. He doesn't remember anything. I don't remember his name, but he helped defeat, I don't say his name, I will not say his name, with a group <laughs> of people, yeah. he, and... He, he killed the guy you should not say his name. He, <laughs> he, he who shall not be named. Yeah, he should not be named. Yeah. And he, he, was, he was reading, uh, he was kind of like reading a book and he closes in. He goes, Indeed, I am the Severinus Valhabar that had killed the Shadow King. Oh, shit. And I, I like, I like, I like step back. Like, just like, just like he said, he said the name and I just kind of like step back, like, whoa, bro. Like, why, whoa. Is Octane a threat to the party? <laughs> I swear to God, John. Wow, you saw the name. Dal, I'm um, this question. Roll right me now, it's a threat. Roll me, roll me an insight check. Um, but Leon over there is like, Wait, man. can I roll an insight check? <laughs> um, anybody could roll an insight check. Oh, okay. I'm gonna roll I have that too. If Octane I have a is a threat five. to the party. Alright, please, do the plus five one. I have negative one insight. Negative one insight, that's great. Um, he, uh, uh, Jimmy, I'm waiting for your roll. For what? Or was it the four? I thought he was doing it. Um, Barhoon and Maxis? <laughs> Maxis, you think that this man is a threat to your party? That's right. Barhun? Mm hmm. You come to question. <laughs> Barhun and Jamie, both of you are kind of. He's not. Fine, I'll roll. He is not a hindrance to the party. But he has been nothing but a help while you guys have been quote unquote working for him. Um, he's given you jobs to help increase your power as well as increase your knowledge of the world to help you understand something. Um, Maxis, you being a paladin, the word that he, the words that he spoke of the Shadow King. 
Just anger the hell out of me. Angers you to the point of no return. <laughs> because it is inside of the um, uh, Church of Bahamut. <coughs> Speaking those words is an act of heresy under your church. Because you're not told of any stories of the only person who killed or put the Shadow King back to rest is the one who can speak the name. Uh, oh my god. So like, he can only speak the name? Can I, can I tell them what I got from that Insignia on the back. Yes, you can. Okay. I look at I look at Octane and I look at the rest of the party and I just say, You're the bastard prince who defeated him. Yo, I wanna do a persuasion check thingy. To see if he can whisper me the name. <laughs> oh my what? god. Whisper you the name of what? This uh, person you guys are talking about. That only Octane thing. can speak. Yeah. Can we do that? No, what? What's the point of that? I just want to know the name. <coughs> He's oh. already said it. He's already said the guy's name. No, he hasn't. Yeah, he said it. <sighs> That's Shadow why King. I backed up. He said the Shadow King. I want to know his real name. The Shadow King never truly... Well, uh, you can roll a persuasion check to see if you can get the information out of him. Okay. You probably have to get, like, better than a 20. Probably. I have a zero on that. <laughs> I have a two. Oh, let's see if you get better than a 20. He closes his eyes for a moment, and he vanishes as time seems to stop for everyone except for Jamie. And he removes his mask, listen well, fledgling. Oh boy. There is no true <laughs> Shadow King. The Shadow King is an eldritch abomination that has beset this world into chaos one too many times. And I swore on my life that I will do everything that I can to ensure that he never comes about again. And I fear that our current ruler of this world of the of the area of where the Shadow King resides will in fact attempt to find a way to bring him back. Do the rest of us hear this or did No, we're all I'm froze the time. Guys, I'm the only one who hears frozen it. time. And then he kind of like um, pulls up his fing uh, holds up his fingers for five seconds and goes You have five seconds and you will never recount this information to everyone else. Four, three, two, one, and he puts his mask back on. And Boop. time has started again. Is that good enough information for you guys? Oh, that, yeah. If we're role playing, our characters don't know it. Our characters, our characters don't know. It. I know, don't but know. Is, is that something you guys wanted to hear? That was really cool to hear. Thanks for that. Yeah, but our characters have no idea. But I, I, I look, I look at Octane. I'm kind of like, you're the bastard elven prince of the how the what the hell is in the, the house? Valabar. Yeah, the Val the Valabar royal family. You're so he's no threat to this party whatsoever. No, definitely yeah. not. Um, what he does is he actually take, pulls out a spell book. And he, and he looks at everyone and goes, if anyone thinks I'm a threat to this party, and he puts it on the table, you can hold on to this. 
Well, you know who's gonna take it. <laughs> you know who's gonna take it. I, 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 sh I literally shoot Maxis a look of, don't do it. What? Like, don't touch it. I wanna take it. You already know that he's not gonna. He's not I don't gonna talk. talk. You take the spell book and um. It is. He amazing. knows that I heard this from him, so I want it. Or no, I don't know it. Do I? I'm confused. You, does he remember? You, you do. You. You were the one that heard all, uh, Jamie. You were the one that heard what he was speaking about. Uh huh. But he wants to ensure that you guys trust him. And that he was willing to... It's kind of basic information that a wizard's life is his spell book. I wouldn't take a spell book. And like he set it on the table and said, if no one trusts me, you can hold on to this. I want to like, take the book. It's like taking your sword. You know, you can't fight. I want to take the book. I don't think we should. Trust me. I wouldn't Trust take, me, I want to take the book. I wouldn't take the no, book. It's like listen, taking my weapons away from me, apologize. cutting off my arms, being worthless. We are literally stopping our greatest ally from doing what he needs to do. Yeah. yeah. It's basically like cutting off my arms and making him not be able to fight. No, he's giving me the power to defeat him and only me. Oh my no. god. No. Um, you're not Jamie, a wizard. While you're holding the book, you feel a warmth. Book doesn't like you. Of when you uh, you fond memories of when you were younger, um, oh of being held by your family, and just the warmth and happiness that it brings you eases your mind of everything, of all well, the my problems that happy anyway. You should, this character's even happier now. You're like in a drunken daze of happiness. Yeah, you're you're currently in a drunken daze of happiness to the point where. Um, roll me. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh God. Roll me a wisdom saving throw. How do I do that? It'll be it's 1d20 roll one d twenty plus is. your wisdom modifier is because All barbarians right. don't have a wisdom save. One d twenty plus. Let's see. Wisdom. Might be a two? Mm. Oh yeah, it is two. Hold on, I'll be right back. Actually. Barhun from the information passes out on the floor. I roll a fifteen. Um, fifteen. You kind of feel compelled to give the book back. Okay. Rip. I, I, I'll apologize to Octane. Like, just... You don't have to you, apologize for that. Well, I'm sure... Well, well you're already skeptical of him. No, anyway, you... So uh, Ma Max says you were completely skeptical of this guy. Yeah. You'll be pissed off about what my goal is. God is, too. <laughs> if I told you what it is. <laughs> The fuck so I'm gonna you set. I'm gonna set down the book on the table again. Slide Anyone else who might have a problem with what I said? Uh, no, I have no issue with you. <laughs> I stay quiet. Um, he takes his book back and he kind of chains it around his um waist and he goes, "I promise to every single one of you that I will never harm you." Nor will I go out of my way to put you in harm's way, much like the band camp situation. Can we get Should this you... in blood? Should you have assaulted band camp on your own, each and every one of you would have come back here in body bags. Oh, I'm sure. I do not doubt that. And I promise I will do everything that I can to assist you on any endeavor that comes up, and I will strive to ensure that you are all the heroes that this world needs. I'm just here to do the job. And this one, I want to give you me know that what? 
I think we should give me the crown now. <laughs> I'm just here to do this job and to gain my freedom again. <laughs> no, I'm holding Hate on to the crown. I was just like cut off my head just right here. Now. I don't really care about being a hero because I mean, my name's already spread enough. I don't need any spread of it being like, hey, I'm a good guy. What the fuck is this nonsense, you know? <laughs> Hey, you don't wrong. want. Hey, there's nothing wrong with being a good guy. Being a good guy is a good thing. Hey, I like minority, yeah. man. I like minority already. It's great. Just like Maxis. <laughs> hey. You understand where I'm coming from? Have a part to play in the future that is a free world. Our characters don't die. The funny thing is, is that we there. The uh, commander guy said that, uh, like, I guess Duke Sultan Phil or whatever is going to come into town sometime. Oddly enough. <laughs> so whenever this guy fucking surpasses Duke Sultan Phil, I told you guys. You know that? Maybe we'll Can't fight this. That. Hey, hey guys, you know what? Maybe we'll fight. Maybe maybe Duke Sultan will summon Shadow King. Get killed by the Shadow King, and then we'll have to fight the Shadow King. Maybe yeah, that's how this campaign oh ends. God, that would be hardcore. Because you know how in video games, when someone summons this great evil, and they're like, "Oh, I can control this," and then they die. That's exactly well, right, what's gonna no, happen. I have to change everything because fuck you, Teddy. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I was, I was planning on. Are you we, serious? But he had him. He had control of the guy. He, he summoned. We killed him, and then he lost control of it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dow. <laughs> no, 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 no. We don't have to. Do the it's the stereotype, that. though, man. Come on. It's... Well, here's the thing: the character, the Duke Sultan Phil character, has to be really stupid anyway to do it. Well, yeah. he's he's stupid enough to do it anyway. He's this fucking DSP character. He's Point. doing it. To, he's doing it to try to take take out all of his enemies, I guess. If you yeah. Want to so it's rifle that we actually get a real fucking boss. <laughs> yeah, a boss that we don't destroy in two yeah. turns. Well, the pirate boss was harder than the actual single boss. target because somebody decided to do a crit. <laughs> John! <laughs> Yo, that's me. That was fantastic, though. All right, all right, it, it was good. I'm not going to sure good. I like it when, like, I want to give you guys a healthy, um,. A healthy twist of hard bosses and easy bosses because I know some bosses you guys are going to get tricked. <laughs> not with my guiding bolts. <laughs> Maybe not with Frosty my so armor. Up. That sounds really good, actually. All right. Well, I, I, I like, I, I kind of say, thank you for this. And I don't say Octane, I say... What the fuck is his name? Uh... Sever... Severinus. S Sever... Severinus? I don't know. Severinus. I, I don't know how you say that. <laughs> uh, he nods his head and he goes, So long as I wear this mask, you will refer to me as Octane. Can do. <coughs> I'll walk over to the bar and ask for a dwarven nail. Hey, what's up, Dora? Is there no chance of talking to the guy who's sitting in the chair? Right He's here? gone. He's Tom. gone. Yo, what? You missed your opportunity, John. He is not there. What's up, He's, Dora? He, he has something to do with the uh, story, doesn't he? We fucked up by never talking to him. Hey, I'm, are, about, I'm, about, to, I'm about to say something really douchey to Dora. Why am I, why am I lieutenant... Surrounding Octane. They're talking to him, dude. Alright. They're I having wanna... a nice conversation with him, dude. I want to be a douche to Dora. So... They remember their best friend, dude. <coughs> their best friend. Knowledge Dang. history. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hey, can I roll a history check for this? Um... Wow. Perfect. Oh, way. Um, okay, what I want you to do is, I want you to re-roll, I want you to re-roll two die and add them together. Two d20s and add them together. 
Eleven. <laughs> Ten. Eleven. Eleven. Okay, Eleven, yeah. so what you get what you get is um Um throughout the tales of the heroes, um uh, the Prinnies of the world spoke highly of a man named Octane, who was the only person who treated them like people, because um, essentially Prinnies are people who live their lives in purgatory to redeem themselves of the evil that they did in life. That's depressing. Um, whenever, whenever anybody does any evil, like, oh, let's say, remove a kid's arm and eye, How about or just killing murders, them? murders a whole bunch of people, kills, yeah, it just kills in general, or does, you know, really, really horrible things, breaks the Wait, laws. Wait, is, is freaking strong, Stonehammer, or whatever she's called, gonna come back as a freaking pretty... That'd be hilarious. Maybe. Oh, that would be amazing. I have a fucking head on my fucking But, um... The kind of wolf-in story of Octane, which a lot of the um, stories of him were kind of cut from history, Mm -hmm. um, as only known as what his deeds were as Octane, not of any other name. Unlike you can, anybody can recall tales of the late Captain Corsic who sacrificed himself for the rest of the party by holding out a large bag of gunpowder in front of a fire demon to kill it. And other stories of other great heroism, but he just kind of, a lot of stories of Octane are just kind of like, oh, he, he helped people. He did this thing. He did that thing. Congratulations. But the Prinnies kind of um, sing tales of him for being the only person who doesn't pick up Prinnies and throws them, but sees them as human beings as they were before. Wow. You're really making me like this Octane guy. All right. I'll still your character. I want to be a douchebag to Dora. Sorry. <laughs> Come on. Uh, she looks and goes, "Oh, hi there, sir." Oh, hello. You know the dwarf that's standing sitting beside you. The guy uh-huh. who's drunk. Yeah, he's the one that shot the lightning bolt through your chest. I like look like <laughs> you can see me. You can see me like lean, <laughs> get him, and just give him like this. <laughs> and then I also as you as you give him as you give him the look. Oh, did oh, you God. roll one? Nope. <laughs> no, he rolled. Did you not hear him roll twice? I heard yeah. him roll twice. I heard him go. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Before you have a second to realize what's going on. You are hit with a battle axe. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> so I guess it like knocks me out of the chair. And I'm just kind of like, I didn't mean to. Oh, I'm so by the way, for the other guy. I'm attacking. Hey, hey, I'm hey, attacking. Hey, hey, hey Dora. No, 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 no. Yes, no, yes, no. 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 Give me I'm a, a protector of this to... party. She just attacked the party. Give me a moment to roll damage before you um, roll to attack. Don't attack her, John. I swear to God. I was also going to say. I was also going to. I was also going to. I was also going to carry up on that moment. That was what I was saying too. By the way, okay? I'm just going by what my new mask tells me to do. You, you guys can't fault you. me for it. You You're can't yes, fault for me. I'm not. I'm not going to fault you for it. <laughs> uh, she doesn't get any bonuses because she does not have that. Wait, no. Bern was going to finish the sentence. Oh, yeah, finish I was. Your sen- uh, sorry, finish your sentence. He's also the one who brought you back. She and healed you to full to, health. She goes to strike him. Uh, sorry, I, th- I thought that was the end of your sentence. She goes to strike him. 
like she's about to pull out she's she pulls out this battle axe and she's ready to swing and she looks like she is aiming for Barhoon's neck and then she just kind of takes a moment to think about it, drops <laughs> her battle axe and then hugs Barhoon. Like, I, I like I saw her draw her battle axe and like my hand like my arm up to like kinda of block it, but then she hugs me and I just kinda of, like I kinda of, like I confusedly I hug her back. <laughs> and then I just whisper in her here, I just wanted you to tell the secret, okay? That's all. I wanted to get off my chest of what happened. <laughs> I was there. Not much of a secret, but I, I would, Yeah, I, would... I know, but I wanted to tell her what happened. <laughs> Uh, Dal just fucking spared you guys. He knows I would have killed her. I wouldn't have let you. I would take it. I was going to finish the we sentence. All, I, we all would have attacked you. Probably. Would... Probably. You guys would all attack me. Yes. The one who's fucking protecting you. Well, actually, it will be more like the, the dwarf and the the other guy, because I was just talking to Dora. <laughs> so you guys are that fucking stupid that my fucking character, who's the party protector, once someone takes a battle axe to you, you guys are gonna attack me. Well, it... You, you think if someone shot a lightning bolt at you... That is the you, most autistic if thing someone, I've ever heard. No, John, if someone shot a lightning bolt at you, and you survived, would you want to hit that person that did it? Yes. Yeah, that's why I told her. And, but then I was going to carry up on that, but I wasn't able to tell her I'll carry up on it because you guys got over excited because, you know, she was going to hit you. But I didn't get to finish my sentence, so. She was going to hit you with her fucking axe in the throat. Yeah, I'm I know. Fine. But I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't finish my sentence, though. <laughs> I'm sorry that you didn't get to finish your sentence and it got to that point. It was my fault for not letting you finish and jumping the gun with a character who died and found out the person who killed her. Mm hmm. Saved their life as well. Yeah. See, she should be fucking lucky that I didn't fucking throw that fucking strong member's body at her. <laughs> oh, God. I'm just saying. I go, I, well, I you guys were gonna attack me. I see how she, it is. She actually is grateful and hands Barhoon a treasure map. Ooh. I I reassure Dora Talier that I wouldn't let anybody kill her. Even though you died right in front of her, though. I was not. She didn't die. die. He, he got she knocked out unconscious. unconscious. Yeah, he went unconscious, though. I took a hit for her. Sean I saved her life. I, I killed her, then saved her life. Well, <laughs> yeah. frankly, also, I also was helping. Or I was nearby, at least. There you go. I just wanted to tell you that because I just felt like... Just to see if you would be a little bit more happier about being with us as a group. Well, you know, I'm now, be truthful now to you. I try to be truthful to you, even though I don't really know you, um, and you're always with actually, the girl, and yeah, so I just want to be nice to you. She's become a lot happier with the party, although she's just still just like, I want to sleep. Okay. Oh my god. Are you pulling a stupid trope on me? Of being very, like, just loving sleep? <laughs> Because I could tell you a character that's a lot like that that I know of from another game. Hey, does that chick show up? Does that elf show up? Oh, yeah. It is nighttime. It's, 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 no, it's tomorrow night. No, what? No. Oh. The chick from the marketplace that I threw oh, my room key. Oh, elven chick. Oh, yeah. Bar I, I, I actually got someone else's number, too, and I don't remember what number it was. <laughs> I got oh, yeah, you got a number. chick's number. Yeah, I got someone's Did room you? number. Yeah. <laughs> you probably have it on you. Yeah, I don't remember what a number it is, though. She's don't probably really, really pissed. Don't me. really care, either, from the mindset. <laughs> like, oh, okay. It's cool. Well, I've yeah. seen too much. So I, I've... Through my Been days. through this too many times. <laughs> yeah, really. <laughs> In the oldest of the party. Jeez. This is much wise why I didn't bend over and like, oh shoot, someone died. Ah, who cares? <laughs> well, I mean, me and Barhoon are we're both men of worship. I've so seen we have death. To respect the deck. Well, I mean, so I have I. seen death. I've but, seen plenty of death. <laughs> but, and still, as men of faith, we have to respect the dead. That's what we were doing. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I guess. Um, I don't like that yellow. That yellow looks terrible. Patron of assassins, man. <laughs> okay. I mean, it, it, though it, it is nighttime, and that um, that elf chick oh, did not oh, show up. No. Oh, yeah, yeah, um, it comes, uh, it starts coming up to about night, and, um, a lot of people start heading up to their rooms for the night, because I think this would be a good time to call it. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, I'm slowly but surely emptying my blood packs, even though I'm not actually doing it. <laughs> my drinks, or whatever I have on my potion. And, uh, Barhun overnight, you are visited by the elf. Oh, snap. Oh, god. Oh, oh god. Well, you shit. Are you supposed to be uh, rolling for this? I guess I'm going to be sleeping outside again tonight. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patchy makes a visit to Jamie again. At least, at least we have, at least we have the ship. I'm gonna sleep on the ship. There you go. <laughs> With the pennies. I'm gonna sleep on the ship, man. Fuck this. With the I'm not. Um, I'm not having another bad night's sleep. Barhun. <laughs> Barhun and Jamie, I need both of you to roll me constitution saves. <coughs> I, can't I, didn't even ask him to, I didn't even ask him to come back. He came, he came back, back on his own. own. His own free will. Wake, wake, cough, cough. <laughs> Alright, so my constitution's four. <laughs> Dude, why didn't we fight tonight? I have been getting such good rolls. So it's a 1d20 plus a 4. 1d20 plus 4. Plus mod, uh, yeah, I mean, 1d20 plus 4 is 4 is your modifier. So, so Dale, how do I do? <laughs> I'm gonna wait for Jamie to roll. You destroyed oh, her. Boy. <laughs> destroy that element. Dude, dude, Torvs have stamina. I mean, <laughs> there's a reason for it. Oh, Jamie! Oh my god! <laughs> And Jamie, I'm so glad John I'm sleeping on the ship tonight. And John, as John the five. bar <laughs> is five, taken buddy. over by the sounds of the night, Could say it mildly. <laughs> I will tell you guys how well you did next, next Wednesday. Oh. Will our heroes be able to stop the Smasher? <laughs> will Barhu never get married and figure out the secrets to Artesia's haggis? <laughs> Find had... out on the next exciting episodes of Don't Split the Party! <laughs> <laughs>